All right. Greetings, ladies and gents. <coughs> it's your favorite Asian robot right here, and today looks like a day when our major order will be completed. So if you guys haven't actually the uh, the seen it, remains in the, um, Let us join the, fight. the Marfark major order is uh, successful. Every moment we ruminate, another family is a lot of people seem to be on Martail, but uh, I'll leave them to it. All right. We are going to a bug planet, mostly because it's chill vacation, and I think that I speak for everyone when I say we are all like kind of tired of fighting the uh, bots. But we'll actually see what the next step is, because we don't know what's going to be coming soon. Now, it's actually very odd. I was just remarking to Arcane before starting the stream. It's actually quite odd to see the Major Order end during my morning stream instead of the night stream, but... We'll have to take a look at uh, how this turns out. So, enjoy the slaying. Good morning to you all of you. Good afternoon, actually. Hey, Track Hoodie, Zambo, Cabalito. What up, what up? You are early today. Hey, Noel, Yahoo. Welcome, welcome. I'll be showing off my Arc Thor loadout, which uh, I sort of perfected last night. And it should hopefully be good. And of course, if it works well, I will put out a video on it. And of course, the other thing that's coming is... <laughs> my ASMR laser cannon video. I haven't forgotten. That'll be coming probably, it's Thursday, so probably by tomorrow. Um, I think the more bot players for their player base is because they are, like, they're, I think a lot of people, and I'll be really honest with you, a lot of people have learned to enjoy bots. Like, they have learned to enjoy playing against the Automaton faction. And there's even been a couple of Reddit posts that said, you know, like, oh, bots are easier than bugs which I find very puzzling but hey you know what to each their own if they genuinely find bots easier or more enjoyable than bugs because they can no longer handle swarm tactics then that is more testament to their lack of preparation I've already said uh, even on the reddit post themselves I've always said one thing you have to know how to handle things you have to understand that there's a different loadout for everything everything has a methodology everything has a pattern everything has a pacing also, there's been a disturbing number of solo players in the game, which, again, I don't understand. Why would anyone want to play solo? It makes zero sense to me. Maybe they enjoy it. Maybe there's some twisted logic going on up in their brain that says, if I play solo, I'm cool. But these players literally contribute half as much as any player, if they even succeed in the first place. And overall... I just don't view them as uh, true hell divers because yeah, sure, you can play solo, but what about efficiency? What about coordinating? What about, you know, actually being a part of the forces? It's strange to me, but whatever, you know, that's that's them in a nutshell. Um, but yeah, the player base, I guess they have developed in a twisted way, but hey, you know, I'm not going to say that that's a bad thing. Now, I'm going to quickly post to my Discord first and then to... Uh, Twitter because I totally forgot about that so time to rock and roll fam let's hit it there we go Don't forget to like the stream if you haven't already, Helldivers. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, good. Everything looks ready. My rubber boots are ready to enter motion. Okay, we are good. Arcane, are you ready to explode? Where will you take your stand? Yes. yes <laughs> I, I figured. Am. I figured he was. As soon as I didn't <laughs> hear on, a response, a I was like, mm, "Yes, there must be some <laughs> muting going on." 
12.15 a.m. for you, Zambo. Nice, nice. <coughs> Appreciate you tuning into the show anyway, you know? Very nice of you. Okay, is there one without scatter? Because I really don't like dealing with scatter. I'd rather take the 25% cooldown. Okay, let's begin with a emergency evacuation. Hellpods Prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. I'm going to go with my traditional style. Yes. Launch initiated. Yeah, if you like Metal Gear Solid and you like doing things that way, go for it. Hey, Noah. Well, stay safe if you're under Tornado Watch. <laughs> Hello, Sedant. Yeah, we will be testing out the uh, Arkthor loadout, see how it goes. If it does well enough on Helldive, I'll definitely release it for other people. And there are two spots open for members, of course. Assuming a rando doesn't steal it. But you can always let us know. Now, neither me nor Arcane have heavy weaponry, so this is going to be dicey. We'll have to rely on our stratagems for the Bile Totans. Uh, Vladislav? No. At the very least, not at this current moment. I may stream it, but it depends on how the player base looks, because right now the player base is not large enough for me to deviate, to devote any time to it. Like, I really do want to, but giving up content for a larger player base for a smaller one is not always wise. I may do it in a couple of days, maybe. I'll think about it. Arcane lead them toward me. Keep going. I was trying to close that nest, but... Imagine trying to close a nest. Calm the frick down, son. Now, you said that there's a nest. This is right here. Unless nice the laser see. destroyed it. Looks like the laser Okay, destroyed. very good. Alright, let's continue south. But yeah, the... I really want to do Dark Tide videos and content, but there's not enough player base right now, so that's the big downside. Because I do this, obviously, to feed my family. And when I know that there isn't going to be much potential audience, I can't really devote any time to it. So we'll have to just see how things go. Is this guy just ignoring these spewers? Found something. Okay. What level is this guy? Level 39. Calling in reinforcement. Like, what did he expect to happen? My brother? Oh, that's a bunker I just fell into. Hello. Okay, I'm taking on this charger here. You deal with the spews. Uh, 
heck is he going? How is he going after? I don't know. He's just not. He's not facing me. There we go. Alright, here we are. Touch it. This guy bring along a grenade thrower. Grenade launcher. Alright, whatever. Oh, this will be fun. Double arc loadout working well? No, that's a blitzer. <laughs> that's a blitzer and an AMR. Yes. Yes. I.e. Weakness. Very fun, but sounds inefficient as hell. So forgive me for saying that, Isla Mao, but that sounds like a trash tier loadout that I would never use. Stalkers, by the way. Because using that sounds like it'll probably kill me and my teammates very, very quickly. I'm pretty sure the stalker layer is like right here. On an eradicate or on the defense, I would say perfectly fine, but on a normal mission, no, 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 no. What's my favorite sentries? I never use them. Sentries I find to be useless. They're not my thing. Don't try and steal my Leia kill. I think they're okay on defense and eradicate, but I've never been able to think about them as useful for anything else because more than likely, um, I'm a I'm a guy that prefers mobility. So if I don't if I don't get to move quickly, or if I don't get to move around, usually it's pretty bad for me and my team. That said, this arcane must you to be in front of me. There is a shrieker nest that somebody pissed off. I don't know how. Where the heck is it? I don't know, but it's coming from all the way over there. If you can find it, let me know. I'll try and secure this area. Oh, it's coming from over the mountain, where we came from. Well, that's joyous. All right, I guess I'm gonna retreat. Retreat? We'll retreat backwards. Oh, uh, Mr. Uh, P3 set it off. Yep, it's there. Is that it? Oh no, that's a bug nest. I don't know where P3 is. Ah, okay. Joyous. Alright, looks like we have to go. I don't know where the bug breach is, but I suggest you run. Like I said, I find sentries useless. Mostly because, as much as they are helpful, if you have a random squad where people are running around and not following instructions, i.e. like this, then what are you supposed to do with a sentry? By the time the sentry goes down... Wait, who lasered that? Doesn't matter. Okay. I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like the nest has stopped attacking us. Do we wanna... We just got these two on us now. Do we wanna wait? Or go for him? Um... We can, but we don't have any heavy equipment for it. That's the only problem, and there's another bug breach. Throwing grenades! Bug tunnel breach! Testing air support! Trying to get an eagle! Four front! Ow. Damn it. Enemy down, baby! I didn't know that was a second explosion. Yeah, it's weird. We both threw it at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had the thing then. It didn't show me the beam. 
So I didn't know that there was a second one. I was like, okay, there's one. If this guy said just dip, then okay. Stuck in. Okay, there we go. Get them! Get them! The morning randos are definitely a lot worse than the night randos. The night randos actually seem to know what they're doing. Morning randoms, mm. very spicy. What's my favorite loadout for bugs? I'm really liking my arc thrower loadout. It works well, does good damage, can handle most anything, but yeah. And it's only the adding friends mechanic that seems to be broken for some people, but we can add friends just fine. Then again, it could be because I am on PC that I'm not having issues with this. Okay, going back that way. Let's hope they actually succeed. Where's the hell bomb explosion? Oh lord. I think they failed. Bug hole, northwest, 50 meters. Yep, just one is left, Arcane. If you have are shooting in from here. Yep. I can guard you. There we Got are. It. Okay, clear. This guy trying to cluster it, like for real? Newbies, they disappoint me. Bug divers, am I right, ladies and gents? New major order tonight. Hopefully, we'll see. It, uh, the previous one isn't over yet. We'll update you as soon as it changes. Right now, we're on our little bug vacation. I'm on Bring, cooldown. Uh, Go ahead. Thank you. Yep, absolutely. Oh, no. Yeah, I should have thrown it a bit further forward. Because with this one, right, it's okay, it's okay. Just tell me you're throwing it and throw it in front. Because he needs to go where the Battle Titan is going to walk, and I don't have 500 yet. I can throw my laser on it. Yeah, sure, if you want to. Nope, nope, nope. Can me, can you bring it out of the mountain? Um... I can. I thought it was out. Yeah, no. Yeah. These guys aren't helping, so. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, no, it's it's. I that was my fault. I walked too close. Fine, I'll use you as a stratagem. It works. This is what happens when players um... do not full clear. Yes, I know it's difficult, but Jesus, always full clear a situation. Requesting air support. Wait, did nobody land on it? Damn it. I, la I went right through it. Okay. Alright. Fine. Damn it. I've got charges on me. You're gonna have to kill some of these. I'm trying. Yeah. This is for chat though, like this is why I don't bring certain equipment on terminate hunts because the they are not as effective against heavily armored targets. Fortunately, heavy armor is the big thing for terminates. Okay, this guy's not helping, goodbye. Throw me on one of them. Come on, shoot at me. For the Terminates, I highly recommend having a shield. No, you never run away from everything at any time. There's no point in doing that, because all that's going to do is going to make these Battle Titans chase you all the way to extraction. So the actual way to play the game is to absolutely kill everything quickly and then move on. This is what should be possible. 
if you know what you're doing. But unfortunately on hell dives, when you've got clueless people who don't do that, or who do not participate properly, then you end up in situations like this. You must never ever leave anything alive in your way. If you run away from everything, sure, what is it gonna do? It's gonna catch up on you. So remember that. Proper players always murder everything quickly, and that's why TDK is so important. If you bring an inefficient loadout where you cannot kill everything fast enough, what'll happen is you get swarmed. Same thing as if your teammates uh, move too far away from you. Arcane, I'm arcing if... Uh, just be careful of where my beams are, yeah? Yeah, I'm over here fighting this starter. With triple jumps, most things will die. Most things. However, patrols will continue coming at you, so please be very careful. Okay. That should be the charger down. Also, never clear the nests if you can avoid it, because if you try to clear the nests, right, what will happen is that the nests will cause even more patrols to spawn, which you do not want. If you have more patrols spawning, you are going to suffer even more. And besides, most enemies are simple enough to defeat. So just make sure that you are not caught up in a constant loop. You kill anything that comes at you fast. Oh. Ow. Ah, unfortunate. Got stuck in there. I'm in the I'm in the big hole there, thank you. Oh, spears. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. Where did they send me down? Ready to liberate. Oh, did they call you before I could? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, pal. Nothing I can do. And I had do. you on your stuff too. It's okay. It's okay. This will just be one of those runs, and we'll never work with these people ever again. Because, as you can see, bug breaches will continuously happen. It doesn't really matter if you if you run away and you do not stop the bugs quickly. You're going to have endless bug breaches forever. Alright, this is the worst possible style to play the game. And all you're going to end up with is this. See that? So what do you do in this circumstance? 500 kilogram bomb, I'll usually stand nearby it. I'll rely on the shield to... Yep, do that. Which is perfectly fine. There you go. The shield will protect you from the 500 kilogram. You can usually take care of the big target, clear things, and then move on. If you bring a light loadout, no heavy weaponry, it gets problematic. So this will be the one of the biggest weakness of the Arc Thor loadout. Eagle airstrike, no point either. Because it's not gonna hit the Bow Titan that's moving. Oh crap, killed by the Bow Titan. Damn it. Let's slow down. Okay, at least one guy has a quasar. P3 has a quasar, nice. Wait, where am I? Okay. Yeah, if you want samples and stuff, the most important thing is to always, always take care of targets. Properly, anyway. Failing to do so, you get a situation like this. This build is strong, but unfortunately it has weaknesses. Like with all things in this game, there's no such thing as one size fits all. 
which is what I always try and tell people. Good teams will have a balance. You must not like have two people doing light. You must not have two everybody doing heavy. It doesn't work. There must be a balance between light and heavy. And also, it's even more important when you are a random. If you are a random joining a team, you must see immediately what the team has, what the team needs, and then adjust your loadout accordingly. At least this guy has a Quasar, so I'm willing to keep him. All he needs to do is Quasar the heavies and we're good. Now, he did not bring fire. Fire is very, very effective. Don't need Hellbomb. Huh? Hellbomb, 500 kilogram. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. I don't know why I said Hellbomb. Yep. Well, the bug breaches in general don't. I wouldn't throw the 500 kilogram, I just wait for the foul pen. Eagle Napalm is indeed goaded. Very, very good. Aim for the head. There we are. If you watch the night stream, the difference is very, very high. You can uh, see, literally see the difference between being able to relax and, you know, just arc versus like all that strain at the start. Always kill your targets, always clear the area. Once you clear the area, nothing's following you. You can actually carry on. People do miss the old railgun, but I find it I still find it useless. They have gutted it completely. And it's not like there's any upgrades to make it better, unfortunately. You see, that guy brought a Mortar, but the Mortar's not even killing that one Hunter because it's inaccurate. It's a useful addition on certain missions, but it's not a be-all and end-all. Which is why I do not use sentries here. It's much better to directly kill the target. And also, I cannot approach the target if Mortars are raining down. So, be careful of that. But yes, notice how much more peaceful the run became after we booted... Azarilla, whatever their name is. Just run, just dip. Okay, please do not follow red tactics. Reddit tactics are made by people who don't actually play the game. If they actually did play the game, they would be content creators making decent money. They are not, for good reason. Their tactics do not work. Their tactics are terrible. These are some of the tactics that will get you and your team killed in the field very quickly. All right. Good work. There you are. There's another. Two others. I like it. Come this way, please. Ooh. Ooh. Jump. Now what do you do when multiple Vile Titans are on you? Relax! Use your 500s. Eagle pods, whatever. This is why the shield is so useful. Somebody can bomb you and you'll still survive. I generally disagree, but only because I feel that the Arc Thor Trooper is the sentry. Like, you do exactly what a sentry does, but just better. And you can be in motion, you see? If you can move and reposition, then it is much more useful than a stationary target. That's how I feel about it. Plus, I'm less fragile, too. Run in front of our arc. Yep. Yeah. 
Hey, if they get shot, they got a shield, right? This is true. Oh, beacon. shit. Whoops. Uh, buddy, Hello? it's on you. Drop your shield, drop your shield. Drop the shield, drop the shield. Drop the shield. That was an accident. Pulling in reinforcements. And of course, that guy died. You see, the turrets may kill teammates. Sure, I may kill teammates too, but the point is, you know, it's quite dangerous. So, unless you are running with an experienced team that already knows this is what you want to do, okay, we'll do it together then it can be very difficult to justify the use of the sentry. Like, I don't mind it if, like, it's friends and the friends say, okay, we're all gonna coordinate together, we're all gonna... We know that this guy's gonna put it down. But yeah. I wish that this guy could have... Oh my god, P3, really? Also, please, you got ARC Troopers. Do not run in front of ARC Troopers. We are dangerous for a reason. safe enough. I do not have any 500s right now, but that's perfect. And boom, done. That was a perfect throw. So I always lead the Bile Titan into it, especially when I know it's chasing me. And I use it as a arc tower. So while it's spewing or whatever, I just keep firing at it. And if you fire in first person, here's the best part. It will actually take damage to the particular point. So... There you go. Easy enough. Uh, there's a lot of newbies card against rule. And a lot of people don't know the rules. They follow Reddit ideas. Like there was this one guy, Azarella. Ali Zero or whatever uh, earlier and we saw I saw them and they were like just dip just dip don't fight I'm like thinking to myself what kind of game are you playing like you want to play a team game you stand with your team and you help them fight it's much more efficient if you clear everything there's no problem if you don't clear everything you know what's gonna happen 14 battle titans at extraction you really want to deal with that because I don't I prefer to actually leave my missions mostly intact. So I can understand people getting mad because honestly a lot of the players these days are weird. They are very strange. They seem to have adopted weird tactics from weird creators. I'm not, I don't want to name any names but uh, he used to create content for a similar game that I created. He posts strategy videos and shit but quite frankly none of them work and they are literally terrible. People will quote them because they worship his ass. Very very poor. Arc Thor, not against bots, no, because the 35 meter, oh. the 35 meter range is usually a bad idea. Also, the sentries, here's another problem. Let's say you're rushing this mission, right? They may lure, they may lure attacks. Because uh, a patrol could be walking nearby and they'll detect it as a valid target. Very dangerous, very, very, very not good. So, what to do? Here's what you can do. 
You need to hit this in the head multiple times. Look out. Yeah, I'm fine. What can it do to me? Yeah, the ship upgrade for Ark works really well, LEM. It's very, very good. But not against, remember, not against bots. No matter, even if you have that upgrade, it won't help you reach a drone drone uh, gunship in the sky. 35 meters is too limited against bots, but against the bugs, which are coming toward you, 35 is a perfectly fine distance. Okay, let's head out. Time to skedaddle. Don't worry about these guys. Time to go. Yeah, I'm sure they will follow. Now, you see a hunter patrol, what do you do? It's already spotted your team. Arc. Triple jumps, wipes out everything. And besides, that mortar sentry is gonna do its thing. Okay, there were these guys here, apparently. Whole squad. The Akthor is pretty good against the Nursery Spear. I hope they're not stopping in there. Careful, P3 is there. I think he's doing some funky fresh stuff. Oh, I have a sickle in place of the Eruptor. Damn it. Okay, go, 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 go. You keep going, you keep going. I'll yep. try and cover these nerds. Mr. O, I'm covering you. Can you please pick that up, character? Thank you. Okay. But yeah, I always try and, like, usually I'll babysit the newbies a little bit. I'll try and uh, cover them. Oh no, come on. The Balatine just kind of gave up. If you got a huge ass horde, I will usually do this. You can always use a Bile Titan as an arc tower. Remember that. Good. See? If that rail cannon hadn't come in, I probably would have just kited a little bit more. Because stopping the hordes is very important. Otherwise, you're going to get overwhelmed at extract. The arc Arcthor, the Arcthor's job, arc trooper's job, literally, is to hold. Hold no matter what. You literally have a lightning gun. Zap the hordes. Keep your team safe. First person allows you to uh, aim directly at the target as well. Arcto is very solid against bots. Hey, Ardmark. I accidentally picked up this guy's sickle, but yes. What I like to do is I like to stay in first person so I can aim directly at the target I want to annihilate. But because this other guy brought the Mortar, we're going to have to be a bit careful of where, we, where we're positioned. So I'm staying away from most hordes. I wouldn't mind, like, being a bit closer, but... We have to be very careful here. If these things approach too much, that thing is going to annihilate us. So I'll usually take a couple of snapshots, like if I see something there, I'll just quickly zap it. I'll rely on the triple jumps, which are really, really useful now. I'll rely on that mostly to uh, take the enemies out. 
Okay. Ooh. Calling in Mr. O. Your friend is dead. Trying to cover for P3. Parking location. Southeast. Go, 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 Mr. P. Okay. Okay, we're coming up. We're coming up. Oop. Oh, that's not going to be good. Ooh, luckily we didn't die. He threw that uh, directly on my shield. The mouth. I saw that. That one I'll take I it really as an we were dead. I know, <laughs> but it's all right. I knew he was panicking, but I was like, "Don't, don't panic. It's okay." This is the difference between the experienced players and inexperienced ones. The Bile Titans. The Bile Titans are not a threat, Mo. As long as you as long as you know how to kite them, they're okay. The problem is if you go too aggressive on them, a lot of people go into hell dive before they're prepared. That's usually one of the issues. If you go into hell dive before you're fully ready for it, this can happen. You always gotta be careful. Hell dives are not for the faint of heart. And you must know, okay, so this this is what I'm this is what my character can do. How do I handle this situation, you know? As the more you learn, the better. Why a lot of people find bots easier than bugs sometimes well, is that they feel lots that enemies killed and lots with the bugs, um, they don't know how to position. Whereas with bots, they come Hell at you relatively slowly from a particular a direction it's easy to register okay this is where I need to be uh, in your mind but for bugs they feel like they overwhelm you from every direction but that's not actually true <clears throat> of course the adjudicator sucks everyone knows that hopefully the DMRs get a buff soon but yeah it will always run out of ammo very fast this is why I always tell people as soon as I as soon as I put a weapon in my hands I already know if it's gonna be good or not once you do the testing and you see it for yourself, most of the time it's a pretty terrible choice. <coughs> for me, with my Arcthor loadout, what I always bring is 500 kilograms and the rocket pods. Why the rocket pods? They act the same as the rail cannon for the Bile Titans, and they are extremely useful. Now, what I always do is a hot drop. So we're going to show these people how it's done. Don't forget to like the stream, by the way. Please make sure... Please make sure that you guys hit that button, alright? Hello, KY. What do you want me to bring? You can choose, but uh, if you want, you can go with the Arc Thor. Arctor was actually a fantastic choice. Another Lightning Lord is fine. Okay. The old ways have returned. As long as you have the triple jumps. The old ways have returned. Did that guy, ser did that guy seriously bring in the expert extraction pilot? Oh my lord. Breathe in, breathe out. Yep. If I catch anybody bringing the expert extraction pilot, do you see this hand? Do you see my love line, my lifeline, all the lines on my hand? Because you're going to see that it's going to come out of your computer and go whoosh. Okay, I will introduce you personally to the SLAAP program. The Super Earth Long Distance Attitude Adjustment Program, also known as this hand. I swear to God. I nice. give you like... 18 seconds, but that slap's gonna take you back in time, 18 seconds. <laughs> right? <laughs> slap you so hard, you get slapped right out of the damn uh, ship. I tell you, I tell you, I can't, I can't. In, I cannot, this is... I can't find a score spear, damn it. Is there? Oh, this radar. Okay. We'll grab the radar first. A 
Okay, there are nursery spears on this map, so please be careful. Bug breach, lovely. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that. Oh, that nursery spear! Oh my lord. He took a little Venus flight. Okay, here's the thing. There are apparently only. Oh, hey! Here's the sports spear. Oh, shit. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Backed right into it. <laughs> yeah, but at least it was useful. Now, this is the fun part. Oh, here. Ah, uh, run! I know. Good work. That's right on it. I like it. I'm dead. No, you're not. I refuse your death. I'm rolling down the hill. Get up. There's another 500 though. Oh my god. May kill you. I read it didn't. Okay. These uh these nursery spirits seem to like the whole spin. Sending an enemy. Now then, Arcane, please do not die. There we are. Good boy. The Bile Titans did. Oh, whoa. Ow. Sorry. You're great. No, that was me. Or was that you? That was me. That was me. My apologies. You have a shield. I figured you'd survive. By the way, Need now stand? I can finally oh. do this joke now. I'm sorry for erupting all over you. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Okay, that is a charger. He is very angry. One, two, three. Oh, warrior! Throw me on it. Uh, I'll just kill him. And then I'll throw you guys down. Oh. What's going on with this charger? Well, this is why I sometimes just stick in first person. It's so hard to hit the head sometimes. Like, the hip fire normally hits the head with no problem, but occasionally you may encounter difficulties. Remember, six shots to the head is the key. Could you kindly? Okay, okay I'll leave you here. I'm gonna keep going toward extraction. I know, right? I would have preferred a muscle enhancement so I could run up these hills. <sighs> oh well. We do what we do, right? There's a shrieker nest up there. Probably not the best idea. Okay, I think I found a bug nest to the left. Moving. Rubber boots in motion. I see the enemy. down. Now let me climb. Two down. Don't cross the streams. Alright. These bug holes are mine. I'm gonna erupt in all these bug holes. Oh, I destroyed my shield. Sorry. That was my bad. Last one. That one. I got that one already. Just give it a minute. Uh, give it a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have shriekers coming out of their nest. Okay. Get off.
think this guy just loves running in front of his arc. Probably does. Oh, come on. Ooh, some must fight. How is that even possible? Oh. You coming? Don't no, no, me. it's okay. I'm all good. I got no troubles. This vacation. But those shriekers, come here. There we are. Snipe. Oh, there's a patrol. Y'all might want to make your way straight to the shrieker nest. I'll That's try and clear this patrol. Yeah. Good news is it's almost done. One more, and we finished the mission too. You have been a line of the wicked witch of the west and her pretties all here. All right. At least this is better than the extraction with the stalkers and the shriekers. That was something else. Good work. Oh, Jesus. Oh, who dropped the bomb? No, it was UXO, UXO. I don't know who oh. hit it, but damn, I saw that. And I was like, I heard I heard the sound. I was like, my boys are dead. I did not drop you guys here. I threw you guys back at your stuff. Well, off you go. I'll go call in the extraction. Oh, dear. That is a lot of freaking scooches. I will cover you. Sort of. I cannot cover you further than that. I got most of the little ones off here. Yeah. I don't know if I can get this. I may die. No, the you may not. Boats. I'm gonna run straight for the extraction so that you guys don't die. Please book it. Bring me all your friends. I'll take care of you. Alright, screw the samples. Calling down supplies. Calling in anyway, we have an expert extraction pilot, right? Should be good. Now bring me all your friends. Line will be held. It's always a good bug vacation, isn't it, Winter? Well, thank you, Ryan. I like to be your favorite. I'll do my best to be your favorite. Now, don't forget to hit the like button on stream, guys. Every single time you like the stream, this stream goes sent out to more people. Okay, so please hit the button. This loadout is dangerous? What do you mean dangerous? This loadout is perfectly safe. Look at all these people that I've killed a lot. It's great. About that. <clears throat> if it helps, that wasn't me. I think. Because I was nowhere near you. You wanna see a bolt action arc door? It gets the animation wrong if you swap to the uh, eruptor right after, sorry, if you swap to the Arctor right after firing the Eruptor, you'll end up with a bolt action uh, Arctor, which makes me laugh. Ooh, well then. Oh. High yield explosive. Be careful. Mmm, now that's my favorite smell in the morning. Roast bugs. No problem, Jupiter. I'm here to help everybody and teach them the right way to play. This is Pelican 1. 
Especially because I know many fake tubers out there will uh, give you the wrong tactics. Or tactic that they claim work, but then they did it with a lot of video editing. And you don't really want that. You want the live. You want the reality. You want the real real. Oh dear. I think we lost Mr. P3. Hey, a rare sample. Oh, come on. Damn. Are y'all... He... I think that was a an explosive canister, though. Okay, okay. I'm gonna just... Oh, no! The Bile Titan's leg. For real. Get in the ship. Get in the ship. <laughs> yeah. The only downside is that a lot of these people don't know how to handle extractions. There's a particular way to do it. And you can't, and you have to like, know, okay, this is why you don't also need to clear before going to extraction. A lot of, a lot of folks, uh, a lot of folks don't understand this. Yeah, surprised I reacted. Dude, I always react. Take note, all the people with like, hundreds of thousands of, of views on their content, how come they don't react to their audience? Because they don't care, number one, they don't care about you, number two, they bought all their views. All of them, well, except for a few who are actually legit, I do have to say that. Um, most of them bought their views. That's why they don't react to their chat or whatever, because not all, they, they say their chat's moving too fast, but quite frankly, they'll have time to pick out a few messages, even for me. I always have a few messages I can pick out, even when chat's moving very fast. So, why do they not react when, you know, their chat may not be as fast as mine, or it may be only slightly faster than mine? Because it's all fake bot views, so they don't react because they, if they give themselves away, or if they're responding to somebody and the person doesn't respond back, it gives it away as a bot view. So Another victory. Nah, I told them to leave me, Trazex, because there's no point. Um, the only way to clear that extraction was like mass 500 bo kilogram bombs and we were out of time. Because these guys are relatively new. Of course I am, I've been legit since day one. That's why I grow slower than others, that's why I've got less views than others, I don't buy. I just throw a video out, and if it gets if it does well it does well if it doesn't do well that's fine you know the information is out there people can search and seek it if they need to for example my operations modifier video only has 700 views in 10 hours i don't give a shit people are gonna watch it if they need it new hell divers can find it watch it if they need it easy peasy okay yep we're gonna go there <coughs> Flame Trooper has no armor, that's the problem, and you can set yourself on fire. If, if you, like, you were immune to flames, I would say that's fine, but you are not, are you? So because you're not immune to flames, it is a very bad idea to be a Flame Trooper right now. I mostly stay Arc Trooper, there's Arc Armor, <laughs> and you can't literally burn yourself, so yeah. Doing very good, One Shot Cryptic. I'm bringing the fire. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> if you talk about it. <laughs> yeah, if you die, that's not my problem. Just make sure you have arc armor on, because I'll be shooting you directly. My suggestion, but up to you. No! Damn it. The other guy also switched to flamethrower. This is going to be interesting. Oh, hell. Yep. This is the problem with not bringing along perfect loadouts. When you choose an imperfect loadout, you expose your team to death. So what are you going to do if we end up with like five Val Titans that are not dead, Arcane? I'll roast them. I'm just okay. kidding. Okay. It's on you now. <laughs> Of course, death immediately. Oh, Shriekerness, by the way, up there on that hill. Lovely, jabbly. People are dead. I know. I just want to get this hunter off of me. 
Okay, we landed right next to a Shrieker nest. You got 500s? Can you go up there and just blast it? Yes. Oh, the guy didn't land on it. Oh, damn. Of course, as expected, he's dead. Another freaking bowser. Requesting air. Told you. Oh my god, the eagle pods do not automatically target it. I hate the targeting on this thing. That bow that charger is literally wearing a shrieker as a face mask. Okay. in case this charger is literally wearing a shrieker's corpse there is a shrieker's corpse attached to it, it looks disgusting it's now got an extra tentacle too oh wow it died from the shrieker holy crap well bug on bug violence there you go Dropping a pin. Eight, that laser is not hitting the thing is it no it went to the bow titan okay okay Fine. Get the last one. Can you flame it if you have your flamethrower? Oh, I just dropped a 500 on it. That works. Now I can hopefully get my stuff back. Finally. Get up, character. Really? You keep getting stuck in, like, what is it, third person? First person? Whatever. Sounds like a hell of a bug. Not even the nice kind. That's a straggler, I hope. Ooh. Arcane, wait, wait. Okay, I mean, you can go ahead. If you want to, that's on you. I can't shoot the charges if they're too close. Where's that? There he is. Oh, come on. Do you have your flamethrower? Or not yet? No, I don't have it just yet. Okay, I lost something. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber. Getting run over by all these at the same time. And I can't shoot because all of you guys have no arc resistance armor. I'll be sure to swap next round. Yeah, because I am I am literally just gonna shoot indiscriminately from now on. <laughs> because every time, every time something is on me. You guys are there in the position around me. If you see somebody with an arc door, please, ladies and gents, bring arc armor. Otherwise, you are literally responsible for your own deaths, and I will not care. I always try and do what I do, Jupiter, so thank you for enjoying. Also, please don't try and help the arc thrower guy with the chargers, it is literally unnecessary. We can kill them with six shots, and we usually use them as Tesla towers anyway. Bow Titans are the only threat, so... There we go. Okay, radar station. Is 
Since when were you using the eruptor? Um, since I picked it up. I got the terminal. Lol. Throwing supply beacon. I am never rest. Now those guys are going off independently. Let's wager whether or not they'll survive. Could run up the hill and get my flamethrower, actually. That's up to Straight them, up Jack Crow. If they position poorly, they are going to die. I'll be right back. Yeah, go ahead. It's light did they call it a bug breach? Yeah, they did. Of course, right where my stuff is. Bug tunnel breach. I've got this one. Engaging terminal. Clear the radar. Coming up to assist. Of course I have, dude. You can see how long I've been live for. I've only been live for a short while, Dennis. Please. Thou must use thy mind. Charge it down. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Yeah. I rolled down the hill infinitely and the battle line squished me because I couldn't get up. Yeah, stay right there, mister. Uh, I don't think he's gonna do that. Don't don't come down on him because I got this. That guy called down an eagle and it didn't did it not trigger? I don't know. Yeah, I literally saw an eagle. It, there was no explosion. So I don't know what he called down, but... Okay. <laughs> I cannot help him with that horde. I can do a little bit, but he might die. He's also seemingly running the blitzer. Unless he picked up your blitzer, but... He might have picked up mine. Okay. There we go. P3, really? Oh, you know what? I'm tired of you. Like, at first he was alright, but he's made way too many mistakes. Like, that is not good. You stick with your team, dudes. Don't separate. Stick, move, kill. You didn't understand the concept of gathering samples? That sucks. Oh, listen, Jack Crow, if you hate me so much, have a 24-hour chat ban and get out of my stream. Now, for me, track server, track hoodie, um, the thing is, it depends on the individuals. If you are bad with positioning, I would say adjust to arc armor, because if you don't, you are going to die. So, it depends on the individual. And no problem, Ryan, always happy to help. If you are good with positioning, there's no problem, but you have to remember... The person must understand positioning. If they don't understand positioning, just wear the arc armor. You'll be a lot better. Because if you run, if you're running around and kiting, right, and I and I'm using my arc to stop the hordes, and you run in front of me or you go ahead, I cannot stop. I cannot stop firing because that's going to be inefficient. You see, so I will always tell the team: if you know your positioning, good, go ahead, you're fine. But if you see, ah, uh, damn it. Okay, um, I'll handle this. Or you guys want to handle it? Because now the guy's in claiming the hole, so. So in situations like this, if they don't have arc armor, I cannot fire through. That means you've disabled one in, uh, you've literally disabled one person's uh, tactics. So, while I appreciate the difference in loadout, I always feel, Tracuity, that yes, other armor traits can improve player efficiency, but is it really worth it? It depends on their skill. If they're skillful enough to avoid, like, 
any kind of problems, then no issue. You know, by all means use it. But if they're not, then switching is very, very efficient. Yep. Some people will call it selfish, but I, I would also say the same thing. Isn't it more selfish, Tricuti? Like, just saying, isn't it more selfish to bring a weapon where you know you're going to invalidate an entire person's stratagem? So, yeah, no. Invalidating a person's perk, that's not too bad. But this person's stratagem, you're literally hampering your own team. Also, with the flamethrower, like here, right? You need to flame the leg. You need to be able to flame the leg accurately to stop the chargers. Compared to an arc thrower, you see, if I handle these chargers, it's not an issue. Best I can do is slow them down. Oh, crap, he still died. Shit. That one was unintentional. There's no controlled pattern for the arc door, so you have to be very, very careful. Of course, I will avoid shooting where I can, but yeah. I'm running in the nest. Okay, go. You're clear, but I cannot offer you assistance, so... Okay. Yep, clear the eggs, and I'll see you. Alright, get out of there. Damn it. West, 200 meters. <laughs> Calling you back down. Okay, we got three reinforcements left. Just remember, guys, I'm never against any kind of... Any kind of... Uh, loadout. But you must take care of yourself. You must use it perfectly. You can use any loadout in the game that you like. Use it perfectly. That means no deaths. You can perfectly control your positioning, everything. So if you cannot, do not use the loadout because on a hell dive, you are going to die. I do like to taste the See these small guys? They're the most likely to call in a bug breach. So you try and kill them as quickly as possible. Plus one arc is very good. You see that guy? He came up a little bit. Yeah. At least he retreated back. So as soon as I saw him out the corner of my eye, I took my hand off the trigger. Okay, he's flaming from a safe position. That's okay. Okay. Clear. Oh, P3's Quasar. Okay. There's a stalker nest down south. We'll have to be careful. Okay, I'm moving. Is anything chasing us? There One. is a Gru behind us. I don't know if it's spotted us. It probably has. Right. You guys, you guys go. You guys go. Yeah, guys go. I'll handle it. Any group, I'll handle. You go. You go ahead. You go ahead. It's better that we reach Stalker Nest faster. Okay, bug breach. Damn it. Of course. But take note, Track Hoodie, I've been using it for the past three rounds as well, which is only which is the only reason I said that. Because I can or I can literally see whether or not the positioning is perfect and I know it's not. So that's why I'm like, okay, if these guys don't bring the arc, there's nothing I can do for them. I can do my best, but my role literally entails holding off the horde. Okay, I'll clear up these last two. Y'all go on. I'll meet you guys soon. Welcome, BXO. Here's a salute for you. Welcome to the Prestige Robots, my friend. 
is welcome. Yep. I always take the shot for democracy. That's why I always tell people like for me, like I was just I was annoyed with that guy. See, I know you're a good track hoodie, you understand me. But that other guy's like selfish as fuck. I'm like, I don't give a fuck if I'm selfish as fuck. The point is I'm not. I'm literally teaching people, hey, this is what you gotta do, this is what you gotta be aware of. Like I'm not gonna purposely turn and shoot O4 over there, no. But people are gonna die if they're not positioned correctly. The Arctor player can aim as best they can, but there are gonna be mistakes. So you gotta be careful, no matter what. Especially when things get dicey. So alright, now here, these guys are all literally chasing Arcane. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna try and hit their butts a little bit, okay? Damn. But at least he cleared the Stalker Nest, so we got an opportunity there. Now this... is a fun little thing you can do. Swap between your... Oops. Didn't reload. Swap between your Eruptor and your Arctor, and you can actually get some pretty good results. Because your Arctor can charge up even while it's stuck in that animation. And by the time the bolt animation clears, although it's funny as frick to see that, um, your Arctor will be ready to fire. You can actually use it almost like a timing mechanism. So I do that, fully charge it, and then it's ready for a shot. Now if there's a bug breach because something wasn't cleared, that's okay. I'll just... Shit. Calling in reinforcements. Oh no, he went in there. Shit. Why would he go in there? Okay. So that guy still has stuns. He might be he might be still on the old school vibe. He may not know about the changes. But yeah, stuns no longer work on Vile Titans. If you guys do not know this yet, please make sure you do. Nope. Oh, gonna run past sorry. Ah crap. I'm out of stems. Yeah, unfortunately the bug breach happened and they couldn't handle it. Nope. Yeah. Come on. I think you'll call him down first. Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Okay, at least the guy killed the Baltan. At least the guy killed the Baltan. The thing is, the thing is, this is why this is the difference between like full efficient loadouts and not inefficient loadouts. Like, you must be able to kill and clear everything by yourself, which is why the Arctor player is so crucial to stop the hordes. Bug breach happens, okay, but if you bring other equipment that it's not able to instantly kill targets you will have issues because they're gonna swarm and overwhelm you then you're done you never never want that situation because that situation is very very poor so always bring equipment that will instantly kill the target do not waste time because every second you waste is another second that the enemy can call in a bug breach so the localization confusion will give you roughly three minutes before the between bug breaches. So if there's one bug breach called in, you've got three minutes. Within that three minutes, you have to kill everything. So that one is crucial. See if you can 500 that uh, egg egg nest. If you can, then it's okay. Even if we all die. Good luck. Godspeed, Arcane. Oh damn it! Unlucky. I know there was. The Oh, maybe. I don't know how many's left, but you might have to go in and sight it. My only concern is that some may be on the like edge. Wow. Yeah, I know. It happens too low. Always a problem with the quasar, unfortunately. You have to aim a little bit higher than intended. Reinforcing. Join the fray. 
Pretty much, yeah. Like I said, this is why, like, for me, I also disagree with his Blitzer choice, but he likes it, so whatever. You aren't always gonna get teammates, like, even with randoms, you aren't always gonna get teammates that will gel with you perfectly, so realistically, you must also be able to handle whatever comes your way. Which is why I choose my loadouts accordingly. Like, for me, I'll choose something that can handle everything. That's why I picked the Eruptor to gel with my Arctor. Okay. I think I can kill these eggs. One set here. One set there. Clear. We're safe. Nice. The Blitzer can stun. So at least it's decent. And it does have AoE. But it requires multiple shots. So it depends on the player. If they're good enough with it, then it's usually alright. I don't mind it as another weapon in the team. And Arcane often uses it well anyway. I'm more concerned about the others. Damn. This is no good. I will try and make it to extraction. But yeah, you're always gonna have like lots of patrols, you're always gonna have lots of stuff on you. That's why like it's really really essential. You always have like every something that can handle everything. You gotta have the range, you gotta have firepower. Bugs are no longer like the simple creatures of the past. Sure, it's a vacation, but at the same time, you gotta have the right tools. The Punisher? No, I wouldn't say it's garbage. It depends on you, because the Punisher is light armor penetrating. So, what's good about light armor penetration? The Punisher has high stagger. So, for example, if you were to attack a target, right, where you can stagger them effectively and get good results with it, the Punisher is a fine choice. It's not a bad choice at all. In any way, shape, or form, it's certainly not terrible. But, it has limitations and weaknesses. It cannot deal with the spewers, obviously, because the bow spewers specifically, I mean because those are medium armor. So you gotta know what each weapon can do. I wouldn't say each a weapon is garbage. Like like I said, even the Blitzer has its uses. It can The Blitzer is one of the few things that can consistently stun enemies and it can actually stop enemies from calling in a bug breach as well. But it has limited range and you have to know, okay, so if this thing has limited range, what am I, like, what am I gonna do with it? And how am I gonna do what I intend to do with it? Nice. Extraction so I can yep, go ahead, in. go ahead. No worries. I got this. If this charges, I'm not even sweating. Two, three. Poor fella. The only problem for any Arcthor player is Baal Titans. Baal Titans take a massive number of shots with your Arcthor. The Arcthor can ignore armor, but... Quasar cannon and the laser cannon icons are a little similar from afar. Hmm. Yes, they are. So, yeah, you gotta be careful. The quasar is always at the bottom and the laser cannon's in the middle area. Sorry, I'm trying to deal with some of the hordes outside so you have less on you. Damn it. Shit. Sorry, Arcane. Yeah. Oh, good. There was a ton of hunters stunning me. I know. A ton of hunters stunning me right now. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Well, GG. <laughs> no, 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 you're here. Oh, it's 04. Okay. ETA T minus 10 seconds. <laughs>
Well, good luck to this guy. I hope you can, buddy. We're going to slightly believe in you. Ah, uh, good dive, good dive. He can make it, can he make it? Okay, no he can't. This is ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> Poor fella. Bug vacation's always fun. Well, I mean, you can't kill bot fabricators with the Punisher. N n you need an explosive weapon to kill a bot fabricator, so... And bug eggs, I mean, they're not they are not a bug hole either, so the Punisher was never brought for that. It could have been server lag, yeah, if your shots are going through the charger. Yep, some of these guys are just too new. They're not ready yet. Many heroes gave their lives to liberty today. Immediately. They will be remembered. Allied destroyer has left squadron. At least he left himself so he understands. When you go Look for hell dives, you just gotta be prepared because you are gonna encounter a lot of stuff. Let me see which is the more decent operation that won't kill us as quickly. Scatter 25. Oh, both of these are literally the same mission. The hell. This operation would strike okay. a mighty <laughs> blow against the enemy. That sucks. <laughs> okay, we can start with the blitz. Coordinates locked. Hell pods primed. Take your time. Engaging orbital thrusters. Keep in mind that the spawns are also different for two players versus three players and four players. Two players has a lot less spawns, weirdly enough. But three, but once you get to three and four, you have to be very careful. The Eruptor is a fantastic choice, no doubt. I like it a lot. <clears throat> By the way, for somebody that asked me the, the other time, is the 4 arc throw with uh, arc armor back on the menu? Potentially yes, but depends on how good your team is with them. Hang on, I'm gonna land on a bug hole. Come on, there we are. One bug hole down. Oh, yeah. Go now and Ooh, hold down. Remember this. Nice. Oh, it's charging. I'm just gonna drop a 500 there and in. Boom. Oh, this is Shrieker Nest oh, once again. Damn. It's all. It's always Shrieker Nest. Right next to wherever. Gonna self sacrifice for a second. You might want to run far. So they stop chasing us for a sec. Gonna try and go as far as possible. This is leaving the mission area. Wow, okay, so we're on the edge of the map, damn. Whoa! LOL! Whoa. I got I got flung so far. Alright. Since I'm stuck as a traitor, you run, you run, Arcane, you run. But now I eventually die. Damn it. Ah, oh, damn, the laser. Damn. I thought I could use the traitor barrage. I was gonna run straight there. Ah, what a shame. Unlucky drop. Yep, yep. Just keep throwing us further and further away. Dang it, I threw you. No, that might be the edge of the map. Because I think that's the edge of the map. Yeah, we can't. We gotta, we gotta go inside. We gotta go in a circle. 
No. That way. Okay, there we go. Phew. Yep, the further we get from the Shrieker Nest, the sooner they'll stop spawning. We can call in our shit. Run to that mountain. I don't know where I am. I'm outside of the map. Shit. Ah, oh, crap. Map. Yeah, yeah, I'm outside the map here. Damn it. Damn it. All right, all right. Let's try and head for center. I'll I'll run to the thing. Aw, oh, insta kill by Trader Barrage. Very, very unlucky that it was a Shrieker Nest right there. Okay, to your left, to your left, right, where the Shrieker Nest is, we have to go past yeah. that to get to the center. That should avoid the that should avoid the edge of the map. Reinforcing. Lol. On the mountain. <laughs> Trying to throw you over the mountain. Is there anything over the mountain? Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. I'll try and get to no. I literally cannot even come down. I tried to land oh. on the other side of the mountain. Nope. Did not allow me. So I guess I'm running around the mountain. Oh, and now I'm sliding down. Okay. Yeah, no. Mountain is a no-go. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately. You just got yourself a super chat. Do you wanna say thanks? Yeah, we had a very, very unlucky spawn with the Shrieker Nest. So... First, I'm gonna need this, and then that. Now, Reload. wait, we don't have health pod space optimization. Shit. Crap. Ah, oh, no. Damn it. I'll try to land on the Bile Titan. Unlucky. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. Okay, it's dead. It's dead now. Reporting to the front. Right. I'm just gonna run up the hill. The extraction here. Yep, sure. I have to go back down for my stuff. What did you bring in place of the uh, hell pot? Um, I believe it's stamina. Damn, okay. Yeah. And now I'm running in front of you. And I have arc armor, so. Okay. A living. Oops. Some of these are just staying in the air. There's a bug breach. Okay. Sorry, Gromkola. I'll salute you in a second. Ow. And I'm getting ran over. Yep. Nope, looks like this one's over. Oof. 
So I've got the Eruptor for bug holes, but ah, nothing for the Shriekers. When it's just the two of us, I may have to alter my Blitz loadout. Hmm. This is no good. And yeah, I think we'll need the Hellpot space optimization. Doof! I'm dead. All right, we'll adjust. We'll adjust for the next round. Uh, Arcane, we'll abandon this one, and we'll readjust. Uh, yeah. Okay. Reinforcements have been launched. It's okay. I don't think we can uh, clear that one in the time we have left. Thank you, Grumcall, for your lovely super chat. All right. Let's readjust if we have to do a blitz with two. No, the Arc Thor loadout is nice, but if it's just a duo, and if it just so happens that we don't get anybody else, depending on the effects of the planet as well, we really do have to change strategies. So, okay, all of them have call in time, extra call in time. This one has scatter and bug spores, that's fine, I guess. You got a new member tonight, didn't you? Thank you, Vinny. You should welcome Appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Appreciate the gifted memberships. I'll start us at extraction. Please bring the Hellpod space optimization. For closing these things, I will have to choose the older loadout. Napalm, Quasar, Rail, and I'll probably bring the Guard Dog Rover. Change over to that. Grenade pistol for bug holes. This is fine. Um, what? what? Sorry. Oh. Thank you, Vinny. Normal missions, the Arc Thor is fine, but I think for Blitz, at the very least, it's not as good in case you end up near Shrieker Nest, which is the current theme. The Shrieker Nest is always very awkwardly placed. Same with the Stalker Nest. Okay, just landing directly on Extract. Go now. We have bug spores as per normal, so we literally cannot see anything. Quasar, okay, we'll head south first, follow me. Let me grab this spore. Okay. Good enough. Permanent hive structure destroyed. Group of For prosperity! Hunter Patrol is wiped. There appears to be Super Rock. Marking location. Super Northeast. Rock. Um, the Arc Thor is good, but it is a ultimately a horde clear weapon, so you gotta here. be careful with that one. Um, it also depends on team comp and the mission you're doing. Like, if your team comp is not designed for, for example, on heavy clear you might struggle a bit with that so you just have to be careful with what your team is designed to do and what your team can do as long as you've got some idea of it it's fine so know your composition know your strengths and weaknesses that's very crucial So right now, I'm hiding around, dealing with all this. 
Yep, because the bug breach, unfortunately. Allied destroyer joining squadron, deploying Helldiver. Have a taste of democracy! Okay. Resupply. Packing location. Heavy on my position. Gonna deal with the charger and clear. Oh, I should have reloaded before doing that. Aha! What is that in the distance? If that is a shrieker nest, then I'm going to start clearing it. Yep, I see the rest. Not this time, Shrieker boys. Not this time. Two down. Just a third left. Reload. Okay, so S4 is running the arc door, which is fine. So I know his position now and I see his arcs. So what I'll usually do is, this is the perfect way of showing like how you can avoid the arc door. The p player using the arc door will generally be the front line. So they're gonna be out in front. This means that if you're not using the arc door, you position to the left or right of them, therefore avoiding any unintentional mishaps. The arc door is good, but you have to know how to use it. Like with all tools in the game, you must know how to use it. If you do not know how to use it, you will struggle. This is the crucial key that everybody often forgets about. <laughs> do you know how to use... Er, big, big nest here. Do you know how to use the weapon you are talking about? If you do not know how to use the weapon you are talking about, then yes, you will have trouble. So this guy is using the arc door, right? I'm gonna move aside. And I'm gonna move this way. Okay. Now make good use of the... What I would do is I make good use of the grenade pistol to try and get a couple of these. Got it! And now we have to go back. And every time this thing is ready, try and fire toward the head if you can. But if you can't hit the head, that's okay. What are you trying? Oh, auto cannon. Lol. No, the eruptor. Oh. Just can't. Okay. Can't do it. Can't. <laughs> That's okay. Understandable. Not for everybody, after all. Okay. Alright. That's probably 
wasn't my fault. No, no, that was the RK. It's all right. I'm surprised I survived, but hey. Am I gonna look her gift horse in the mouth? Okay, we look like we're clear. I'm heading to extract. <clears throat> Of course, a star. You always have to experiment live, you know. But transcendence. I would say that two arctors, two quasars, perfectly fine. Because arctors, if there's two of them shooting the ball titan, they can still take it down. Two arctors is front line with two good quasars or you know quasar spear recoil. It's anybody that's using heavies. Two heavies, two arctors. For me, that's ideal formation. To your left. Yep. No worries at all. Yeah, right, nice and clear. All I do is crash, Patrick. What do you mean? What is crashing the game? Because for me, the game hasn't crashed in a long time. Of course, it could cr it could be crashing for other people. So, if it is crashing for you, I do apologize. That does suck. I hate it when my games don't work well. Now, although the recoil is minimal, the Breaker Incendiary, despite being an incendiary weapon, does have some recoil. So you can still minimize this by... Um, you can still minimize this by crouching, which I try to do. So you'll notice the fire is giving me an insane kill count. This is the original uh, style, so this is my Quasar with the uh, Quasar with the Napalm style. It works very well. It'll stop most targets, assuming you don't have the DOT bug. Uh, I'm the host, so I never will, so I will never have that. But I am aware that it affects others, so be careful. If you have the DOT bug, all right, just be aware. It is a thing, and it does suck. But there's not a lot we can do about it, unfortunately. Take advantage of the tremors. Use them to really put the hurt down on your opponents. Hey, BVS, what's up? How's it hanging, pal? Okay. There we go, much smoother. Pelican one arriving at coordinates. This is Pelican one preparing for touchdown. Yeah. Stand by for takeoff. Why don't you come back to playing the Arc Arcthor style, Arcane? Two Arcthors might be fun. On the next round, I mean. Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. Nice BBS. If you are joining us, let us know. I can make a space for you after this next round. You should, I think you'll do good. All right, sounds good. Perfect enough for us to finish a round, and then we can get you in. Okay, very honorable DT there. Dirty armor. Wait, why is yours clean? 
This mission required fewer ah. to make the ultimate sacrifice. Lol. Arcane got a shower, we didn't. Sad. Now get off of this horrendous weapon. You know what, I might go back to the breaker and send Yuri myself. I'll stick with the grenade pistol if I really, really need to close bug holes. L -diver. So that's the not like I do it that often. Ready for your next mission. Okay, let's go retrieve the valuable data. Well, I'm glad I'm getting you through your night shift, Ryan. I'm happy to hear that. Now this next round, I'll be able to play my Arc Thor loadout, so I'll show you guys a little bit more about how we do it. Now, I love my Arc Thor loadout; it's fantastic style. But yeah, it's a good, it's a good overall playstyle. But exactly, Dennis, you will not be able to breach the front line. That's exactly the whole reason, you know, that you play this particular stuff. Okay, we got four, so we'll hot drop here. Localization confusion. Now I'm gonna alter my style a bit. I love, I was loving the rocket pods, but I feel that I'm not getting the perfect value out of it. I will try the precision strike. At the very least, it can't be worse than what I have now. Night shift gang Noah, I see, I see. Well, please enjoy, please. Enjoy the show and don't forget to like the stream, yeah? Okay. Let the intrusive thoughts win, take a shield. In fact, I will also hold on. I will take arc armor myself. Let the intrusive thoughts win. Use the shield. Yeah, I got my, I got my arc armor on. I don't really think I need the shield. I was the gonna shield. do like rover and or expendable. Go ahead, do, do it. No, no, go ahead, do the rover. That's also a good choice. I love the rover. Your kill counter will probably be a lot crazier than mine. I was watching it last round, right? The rover was chaining so many kills, it was like, with the napalm and everything, it was like 50, 60. Oh yes, by the way, ladies and gents, forgot this uh, little important announcement. Um, if any of you are using the super credit farming exploit, do not do it, because Arrowhead has said that they will take action. Okay? I mean, I'm sure none of you would ever use such an undemocratic exploit. But in case anyone even thought about using it because some asshole of a YouTuber said, hey, this works, um, don't. Okay? It is considered an exploit, and using an exploit in a video game is uncool. Get super credits like everybody else, alright? Arrowhead is already kind of- Ooh, stalker, stalker, stalker! Shit, shit, shit. They're literally right over there. Damn. Sorry, Arcane. I'm coming to help with lightning. I can't, I, re I just remembered you had arc armor. At first, I was gonna say, I'm sorry, Arcane. I can't do anything else. Like, wait a minute. Like, he's got arc armor. I can. I can fire. Oh, hello, Charger. Oh dear. That's okay. Oh, dear. That's okay. No. Gonna stop Charger this pinned me in the rock and the Bile Titan spat on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's something. <laughs> oh, come on. The Bile Titan. Happy birthday. Aw, oh, he died to the Eagle Pod. Damn it. Can't even claim credit for that. I'm sad now. Yeah, charger. That's what I thought. Charger. Stalker, whatever you are. Creature. Ooh, I'm in the water. My number one nemesis. No. There's 
Listen, the water's got a vendetta against me, okay? I'm telling you. It does. Okay, clear. Ow. Oh. With the arcs, just remember you have to hit the head in general. Oh, G3 is at. There's another stalker nest, okay? We should probably go and help him once we get supplies. Bullets always rated E for everybody. Thank you. Ah, very nice. Dropping him in. Southeast, 200 meters. Marking location. Thank you. I see some. Lovely alien shapes floating in the distance. Gotta love these visual glitches. <laughs> what is that? A ghost. I found something. Ghost of Christmas. Uh, orbital strike. Chast or something, whatever. What the? Huh? What the? I don't know. I am so sorry. Like, Sending maybe it's the sc all orbital scatter. I didn't throw it anywhere near there, so I was like, what? I'm so sorry about that, Arcane. <laughs> I know, I was confused because the beam wasn't even near me, and then all of a sudden I died, and I was like, what? Mm. I keep forgetting orbital scatter is a thing. That was entirely my bad. Okay, aiming for the head. Close to you. Lol. Ooh, I thought I dodged it. Yeah. Pulling in reinforcements. Uh, nowhere near it. Okay. That's a lot of spicy shots. It's still about 30 if you don't get it specifically on the head. Which is annoying. Alright, where's the bug breach? Over there. Mr. S4. Hey, Nightshade. Uh, the precision strike missed because it's uh, orbital scatter. When you have orbital scatter, your precision strike is not going to be very precise. I remembered that that was another reason why I didn't take the stratagem. So I guess I'm one stratagem down. That's why the rail cannon is still better. The rail cannon will solve most of your problems. Most. If not all of them. That charge is a one. Okay, those guys are still making their way toward Mr. S4. Mr. S4, we cannot help you. Please come toward the team. Looks like you'll have to deal with that one. Normally I wouldn't, but if you separate too far, there's nothing anybody can do to help you. So we'll have to, because both of these guys are separate. Me and Arcane will have to go to the one that's on the main objective because it's a bigger priority. 
That's okay. We got plenty of horde clear. Stalker again? No way. Dropping a pin. Gotta be a stray. Yeah, it should be a stray. It's gotta be, right? If it wasn't, then heaven help us all. Maybe it's there. Oh, yes. I don't think so. I think that's another nest. Yeah. Did that kill him? Probably. Shit. Respect him for it. We'll hold Just off his bug breach. Yep, but he did it doing the stalker layer, so I can't really fault him. Like, I'll respect him for that. Oh! Oh, there was another. Oh, was it the same charger? No, it was another charger. Thank you, trying to s got one. This is your stuff. My stuff yes. is there. Did you get my samples? Yep. Okay. Clear. Tagging map. Southeast, 50 meters. Oh. Uh, see that horde? This is seeing clear. Okay, it's clear. Or it seems to be. Charger. Going to just adjust his attitude. Watch out for that, that the the uh um, I know. The bomb. No problem. I got you. Oh, I'm just hoping I don't hit this guy. Oh no. Ah damn it. I knew it. Like why would you never mind. Confused. Mm. All right, all right. Help him on the radar station so he doesn't die. Just trying to sideways drift on you. Yep. I got the terminal. Okay. G3 was a bit unlucky. Oh lord, why is there another bug breach? Engaging terminal. Oh, I got two chargers on me. I know S4 also has an arc door. If yes. you got an arc door, you should not be letting bug breaches happen. Alright. Strike in that direction. Okay, got the charger. Get a 
samples. Okay, book breach all cleared. Going toward the power thingy. Uh, it doesn't alter the attack, but it makes it a lot easier to aim that. So one thing is that um, when it comes to the arc, though, why I'm always firing from first person is because I can. It will go where I aim. So they seem to have altered its targeting a little bit, so that it will go in general, in general, where you aim. However, okay, keep in mind that it's not perfect. Still, you can still hit foliage. You can still hit terrain. So you must use it wisely. For me, I it will also narrow your field of vision. Don't forget that. So if it's narrowing your field of vision, you may not be getting exactly the value you want. Come on, come on. Okay. Generate is calibrating. Uh, Ar Arcane, do you want to help him? Yeah, okay. There we go. I did. I threw him a laser. Joyous. I don't think it's doing much good, actually. Yeah, because I think they're pretty far. They actually went all no, the way No, they the... just killed it. Okay. All right, you can go. I've got this. I'll meet up with you guys. They're just going to grab the launch codes, I think. I've got this one. I'll start journeying up. Okay, there's another bug breach. So, if I know that this guy has an arc thrower and they've already got a bug breach to deal with, what is your angle of approach? You try to avoid approaching behind them. Alright, so you'll try and approach from the side, pretty much the same positioning as I would have used if this guy was not an arc thrower user. Okay, now. Okay, that thing is clear. Right. Good. Parking location. Heavy. North. So that is where the bug breach is. Alright. Move slowly. Tag crucial targets. Slow them down. Then clear horde mobs. Ow. You'll notice that when I'm firing, I sway a little bit because the arc, like, and it doesn't really have recoil. The thing died after. <laughs> Run the throne away from my stuff for one more time. Don't worry, we can uh, remove him. Should have brought my rail cannon. I feel so useless. Oop. Sorry, sorry. Have to dodge that. Hello. Hello. So, under circumstances like this, when I know there's a hill, what do I do? Usually, something like this. Okay, that missed. So now it's at least slowed down. I just need one more hit. There we go. Count the number of shots that you hit on the head. That should stop the charger. The arc is a good Baltine killer, not at all. You're supposed to use the stratagem for that. By the way, guys, don't forget to like the stream, please, if you haven't already. Close the live chat for a second, hit the thumbs up button, it really helps a smaller streamer like me. So not a lot of people have hit the like button on the stream, unfortunately. Not yet. So please do, it would be a great benefit to me. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, for when it comes to the Arc Thor, I wouldn't say it's a good Baltine killer. It's decent at damaging the Baltine, but the crucial thing is actually to stop the Baltine with your stratagems. Rail cannon, whatever. 
Then you can use some arcs to kill it. I'm not using the rocket pods right now. But um, I would rather use the rail cannon, actually. Having tested both, I feel that it's best to have your 500 kilogram bomb and the rail cannon. Rocket pods are okay, but if you forget to rearm, you won't get that automatic rearm, so it can be pretty dangerous. But airstrike also will not kill a Bile Titan, will not hurt a Bile Titan. Uh, most of the time, it will miss the Bile Titan because of the way that it comes down. The rocket pod is usually generally very accurate, and it does the same amount of damage as the rail cannon strike. So, the rocket pods tend to be the favorite choice for most individuals. Now, it's really up to the person though. Like, if they like it, you know, they can, they may choose to use it um, over the rocket pods. It's really up to you. But for me, I... Ooh! Damn it. I got dragged. I do hate these chargers sometimes. But, yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh. For an Arcthor user, in general, you gotta have good spatial awareness. Because you gotta know where you can move, where you cannot move, that kind of thing. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Wait, what? Second, guys, I had a mini art attack. I thought that that was a second bug breach. The same one. Anyway, that G guy will be getting kicked very soon after the match ends. Because choosing not to help your team, very, very poor. Like, he did well with the stock layers. I respect his skill in that regard, but that's not the way. When there's a bug breach, what have I taught you guys this entire session? Kill the bug breach first. Because otherwise you are going to get chased for the next 10 years and it's going to suck. Leaving it to your teammates is also like kind of a dick move. Unless there's a very good reason you never leave it to just your teammates to handle. Okay, we're clear. I don't know about Mr. S over there, but he'll have to make do. Some stems here if you need them. Thank you. I'm just trying to figure out why this thing is here, but... I think that thing's bugged. I thought it was an actual legit enemy, but it wasn't. Okay. But yeah, the airstrike doesn't really do much against Bile Titans, and most of the, the only thing you're afraid of here is Bile Titans. Because the Arc Thrower takes 30 shots. 30 to kill a Bile Titan. Without any outside interference. So, it is, and by, and 30 shots, although it sounds like 15 seconds while you're getting chased the whole time, not exactly the most conducive. over here I'm gonna just delete that charger six shots to the head very easy to handle I mean you have to kite them around a little bit but in general now keep in mind that this is shots to the head if you are shooting the charger anywhere else you are going to have a problem do not do that you must shoot the charger in the head okay six shots in the head no problem you don't shoot the head big problem Not quite sure where Mr. S4 is going, but this is also a very unfortunate behavior. Uh, BBS, will you be bringing the heavy loadout? Uh, either that or I was going to run up for you all. I would prefer a heavy. 
if you wouldn't mind. It'd be nice to show people the more balanced style. Okay, let's go. I can do it if you need to. If you want to play Arc Brewer. Yes. No, I like I like my uh, I just I just wanted to be with you guys if you were trying to do like a whole team Arc Brewer thing. Not yet. Not until we have a fourth. At least the Arc. Full team Mark Thor is fine, but everybody has to be coordinated for that one. And I wouldn't risk it with a random. As you can see, the Arc Thor shots will strip armor. And it will do damage, but that was because there was a rail cannon there. Otherwise, 30 shots. So, not very effective on 9 when you have a lot of battle times. You have to have the stratagems to compensate. Now, against charges, as long as you hit the head, it won't be a problem. That charger needs one more to the head. There you go. It's dead now. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Oh my god. I'm gonna call you in here. G is dead as well. No idea where or why. I survived! Barely! Nope. No, I didn't. Oh lord. <laughs> I did survive, but I did not. I'm not. Oh, come on. Yep. No, sorry. I got clawed by a hunter after calling you guys in. That's why when there's a bug breach, right? Don't run from it, please. When I, like, this is the problem with many randos, and it's what will get them kicked from teams a lot. Reddit does not play the game. Reddit players do not actually engage in this game. They are not actual players of the game. They are not a good source of information most of the time. You are more likely to... Damn it. Sorry, I'm throwing you away a little bit because I have no idea where we are. We're inside of a bug nest. Uh, is well, it, a is dead it bug nest. No, it's it's active. It's active. Oh, it's not dead. It is active. I think they tried to kill it. Damn. Okay, try to get back to your stuff as best you can. I'll try and kill whatever I see. I'm so far from my stuff. Can I just summon? I can't. Oh, S4 using arc but doesn't have arc armor. Okay. GG. Mm. I'm gonna try and book it. Because this is not worth. In the next round, when BVS is here, we'll show you guys a proper style. Of play. I'll tell you, the morning randoms are way worse than the evening randoms. The evening randoms are like hella good. Okay. I use the charger as a Tesla tower, mostly. And I'll try and dodge around. If there's a patrol, well, we don't have much of a choice. First person comes in very handy. Okay. Ooh, ow. Thankfully, just one hit. Now, I don't know how many this one's already taken, but it should be. It looks like it's close to death. Two, three. So that means that I've already taken one before. On the hill. It 
Can you just walk into that? Possibly. Hang on, it's the this is the evil hill. Okay, I got bad news. This is the evil hill. Throwing supply beacon. Hmm. Back, back I'm gonna have to climb. Calling down a support weapon. Calling in extraction. Yeah, there's a lot of people that will complain about stuff like that. Realistically, what I'll usually try and do is, you see, with a Bile Titan, if I can get the 500 kilogram right on top of it, it's a guaranteed kill. So you usually have the ability to kill two Bile Titans, but they need to be on you, specifically. That's the only downside. So when people are split up like this, and they don't know which way to go, how to get things done, yeah, it can be pretty problematic. So I see a patrol here, right? As an Arc Thrower Trooper? I'll probably clear it first, real quick. This prevents any bug breaches from coming in. Then return to your team. You see another patrol? Start clearing. Aim for the biggest guy, use him as a Tesla Tower. Right, you'll get the kills behind him thanks to the arcs. If you end up with a hunter, ooh, got ragdolled for some reason. Take a moment to spray it down. Uh, for when I bring in my uh, mm -hmm. heavy loadout. Yeah. Is it right if I bring my flamethrower, or do you need me to bring something like a recoilless? Uh, you, you're gonna need a recoilless, or any other heavy weapon, Quasar, whatever you like. But yeah, basically just help us kill the battle planes. The idea is to bring as heavy a loadout as possible, kill the battle planes. Flamethrower will not work because we are going to die. And I just wanted to play with the new, uh, uh, that I The new what? A uh, fourth tier uh, flame blade. Bring napalm. That's what you bring with a heavy loadout. That's how you play with the flame. Oh no! Run, 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 run! Ah, 500. No worries. I dropped one myself. I have to kill that bell titan somehow. I'm getting off. Other backpack choices? You can always use the rover. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just clearing the way. You can always bring the uh, rover if you want more killing power. The shield is called the shield backpack. I'll be with that. Yeah, take the time. It's literally, it's literally just called the shield backpack, shield generator backpack. So you can always use other backpacks like the rover, the normal guard dog if you're of a mind. But I don't recommend it against bugs because there's way too many of them. So it's usually the rover that is superior. And yes, down Bile Titans may eat you, unfortunately. It is how it goes. Okay, Mr. Samuel Haske has left. Sorry, the other guy left. BVS can now join. I will also remove Mr. Samuel. But yeah, if you want to play around in the flame loadout, bring napalm, bring your incendiary grenades, you'll still, and bring, of course, your, uh, well, it doesn't affect breaker incendiary, but please do bring your napalm. Well done. The enemy barely noticed our presence before we pulled out. Until they actually give us some fire resistant armor, I am against flamethrowers because you are much more likely to burn yourself and your teammates, unfortunately. I was muted that entire time I was talking. Yeah, I'll bring the napalm. Uh, do you need me to bring the arc armor? Uh, if you want to. If you have nothing else to bring, it would be useful because that way we can just shoot you. Unintentionally, of course. Of course. Helldiver, take command of the... K. 
Okay, let me spam you with invites until you get in. And thank you for all the likes, guys. I sincerely appreciate it. You guys are a wonderful and amazing audience. Wouldn't be anywhere without you all. Now, while we wait for Arcane to come back, here. I'll talk a little bit about stuff. So, what I have been liking with the Arc Thrower is the Breaker Incendiary, the Grenade Pistol if we really need to close a bug hole, and of course the Incendiary Grenades. And if you've got more than one Arc Thrower on the team, I recommend using the Arc Armor. Sure, it sucks to give up your perks like Engineering Kit and the like, but using this will allow your, well, you and the rest of your teammates to turn into electrical conduits, which is really nice and very helpful. You'll also get used to it because eventually you will have to deal. But again, this is more of a supplement. Um, it may not always be the ideal choice. Like for me, I use it as a supplement to my intended loadout. However, last night we actually ran completely without anybody using the Arc Thor, and there were very few deaths, the mostly. But that was because everyone was using heavy weapons, so they were all in the back and I was up front, which is perfectly fine. And listen, King Raven, you can use the flamethrower if you like, but just be aware that most of the time you're going to kill yourself and your teammates, so be very careful. That and you also, unless you wear arc armor, you may invalidate the arc door guy. Okay. We're going to do this semi-safe. Drop down at the extraction zone, clear up north. Head down south. Don't get me wrong, I do love my flamethrower people, but it can be dangerous without the right team. And without like a full set of teammates, you may die horribly. Me. Yeah, definitely. Once you're once you're fully with friends, you know, it becomes a lot easier. Pretty much track and that and also the flamethrower person needs to know all the tricks for example you need to be able to quickly flame the, uh, the charger's leg to insta give it you need to be able to adjust very quickly and know your own positioning because the flamethrower is very good but not only do you overlap you also tend to have you also tend to be up front a little too much which means you may die horribly at that BBS no backpack. Wow, he's going in raw dog. I like it. Uh, I I was actually thinking about the recoilless, and I was thinking about how that has a backpack, and I couldn't bring one, so I forgot about it. Lol. I was thinking to myself, mm, this this man very brave. All those hunters are gonna be jumping on you, and you got no rover to protect yourself. Are you sure? <laughs> but okay, it's too late now. It's time to die. Okay, we have a spore spear somewhere. Let's see if this must be it. Okay, see if it's there. Oh, damn! There. Yep, yep, yep. I see him, I see him, I see him. Come on, Ark, get here. There we are. Now you guys are doomed. Doomed, I tell you. Okay, we got a nice little bug breach. You know the drills. Now this is the perfect time to throw some napalm bombs on it. We'll handle whatever comes out. Enjoy the kills, Mr. BBS. Bright, oh white light. If there be any glory in war. Let it rest on men like him Who went to hell and came back Yes, just more fire Four. And you see ladies and gents when everybody actually bothers to work together Lo and behold, we actually cleared the bug breach. 
Now wasn't that easy? Oh, compared to, let me think about this. Hmm, one guy going off here, one guy going off over there. I tell you, these randoms, they learn too much from Reddit. It's like, it's like watching people who only watch TV commenting on sports. Like, did you ever play the game? Like, for real. Would you please, like, you know, it's like your uncle on the couch saying, Oh yeah, I see Rhea Ripley doing that, I could do that myself. I'm like, are you sure? Uncle, please don't say that. I'd be very disappointed. Are we doing this? Yep. Because we're here and we got a full team. Package What's there to be afraid of? What is this? Static field. Doesn't matter. I've got one high yield. I got a smoke. Listen, just chuck in the high yield and we'll use it if there's a serious problem. Then the rest doesn't matter. Oh, let me check. Is this, a, is this a nuke? Oh, high yield. We got two high yields. I have a mini nuke. Okay, two high yields, mini nuke. We're eating good. We'll put in the two high yields first, then the mini nuke, yeah? Then the rest, we don't need to give a shit. So we have three uses of our genie in the bottle. Okay, high yield first. The other high yield is here. I got it. Okay, mini nuke in, and then the rest don't matter. Hey, JD. Yes, Steven, because we already uh, finished the order, you know? Ah, oh, man, Pac, when I saw that just dip, I'm like, yeah, how about I turn you into my next bit of guacamole? Turn that guy into dip, I tell you that. Dropping a pin. Northwest, 100 meters. All right. We are clear, and we now have three big explosives. Yeah, we're on vacation right now. Oh, look, there's a big bomb over there. Please do not let your intrusive thoughts win yet. Can no, we just go ahead and detonate it? Oh, behind us, behind not us. Not yet, not yet. Don't let the intrusive thoughts win just yet, friend. There'll so be a time. <laughs> oh. Hello, Brute Commander. Yeah, he have on, right? Yeah, he does. Oh. Feel free to uh, use him. Oh, you, you hit me! You hit me and I dropped a napalm. Oh. Dead. Lol. <laughs> Okay, call out when you're about to use the tactic. That way we won't hit you. you like to freedom? Now this is a lovely bug breach. Scenic vacation, I tell you. Is there another spore spewer nearby, I wonder? Oh. Why did it suddenly become clear? Money? No. Charger. Whoa. Oh, you do? oh, you saw one of them go flying? It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> LOL! <laughs> uh, this is the way to enjoy vacation, ladies and gents. Oh, Lazarus, he's singing my tunes now. For the grace, for the might of the Lord, for the home of the holy. Engaging terminal. For the faith, for the way of the sword, give the life so boldly. I got the terminal. <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, Steven, it's a bug vacation right now. Everyone's enjoying it. Sabaton is so suitable for killing bugs, I tell you. Except there is only one song that I'll say is more suitable for uh, bots, and that is the um, the one where they 
they do the what you call it? Um, shit, I can't remember. Attack of the dead men. Kane. What? What is he doing? You alerted that horde. That's okay. He's got an arc throw. Kill it. There's like four of them. Yeah, if there's a horde, kill it. Okay, we'll go around this mountain. Because, you know, 40 prime. Uh, don't let the intrusive it's thoughts shit, win. Right? Don't let the intrusive it. thoughts win. No, I'm touching it. I'm touching it. I'm touching it. Gingerly. Hey, there's a point of interest here. Shall we adjust its attitude? Just gonna go around. UXO. Nah, not yet. Okay, raid this place. Rare place is empty. Damn it. Oh, no, samples. Ammo. Yeah, ammo's good. Sample collected. Uh, there's there's samples. There's more. <clears throat> Okay, we carry on. Ah, yes, go there. He is slowed down. Lagged. Yep. I'm Sorry. Being shocked by you. I know. Be right. He's getting shocked by both of us. <laughs> That's part of the fun. <laughs> you are. <laughs> We apologize slightly. You want the stims? You can take them. Super sad. Thank you. I'll take the grenades. Consider it a payback for me uh, shooting you. And now be prepared because I'm gonna shoot you three times more for taking my stims. Do you have arc armor? <laughs> Everybody asking. See, you know, people said like, "Hey, he's selfish at the start." I said, "See, isn't it easier with arc armor?" I told y'all. Okay, we got a boo breach. You know what to do. Mm. Yes, now that's what I like to see. Get me more fire. More. More. <laughs> Back. In control, push them further out to sea. Falklands in our hands, back under British rain. I'm so going back to my boots here after this. You weakling. Oh, there's more stims right here. Ah, sick. Thank you. Credits. Any more of them grenades? Oh, yeah. Grenadier, ready for combat. <laughs> Slam down the hammer of Thor. When will the new major order start? We don't know, but as soon as there is one, I'll update you. Joel hasn't woken up yet. Joel's probably got a script and he's ready. He's making a list and he's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's been naughty or nice. Joel is going to lease a new order. Soon, I think. Hate it. <laughs> you what? <laughs> I hate it. I know, right? Too soon for, too soon for that team. Like, sorry, yeah. Nightshade. I know. You were just there and you looked vulnerable, so I had to kill you. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> <up> my Quasar. <laughs> I know, right? Should have brought the arc armor, buddy. <clears throat> I did tell you. <laughs> I should have. I should have. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> to trust robot and arcane with arc throwers. Trusting us? Yeah. Are you insane? <laughs> that is the worst possible decision. By the way, there's a sports spear over there. Could you kindly? On a scale of one to, it's a bad idea to trust us with arc throwers. It's a very bad idea to trust us. <laughs> Enjoy, Steve. <laughs> oh, it's right over here. Can you tag it? Yep, yep. Give me a second. Like, yeah, it's right, right there. there. You'll see it. 
Yep. Too far He's away. He's a mush mom. I got it. I got it. I'll use my arc thrower from here. Oh yeah, sure. Sure, I'm sure that'll work. Ah, finally. I got it. Fuck. I got it. Yeah, good job. Now to kill the nursery spears that are below it. Hello, nursery spear. Can you spell getting lightning shotted? Okay, there's a boot breach. Please be careful. Tossing in napalms. Uh, sorry, incendiary grenades. Please toss in napalms, is what I mean. I need to see fire, and I want to see nothing but flames everywhere. I need to see a fire constantly everywhere. Okay. Standing in an eagle. Woo! Two. Yes. Yes. There's more. Good. Here's another 500. Hello. Come this way, Baltan. Come here. Come here. Come here, boy. No, he didn't move. Oh, yes. There we go. Good boy. Hey, don't worry. There's a UXO here for future. If you ever need to let intrusive thoughts win, there's that. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Oh, by the way, BBS, they ruined the Ogrens in uh, in Dark Tide, just so you know. Dropping a pin. What do you mean? Uh, feel I no was pain. already upset. Feel no pain sucks now. It no longer makes you tanky. <laughs> because I feel my build. all the stacks of feel no pain, right, can get stripped by toughness damage now. <laughs> it's hilarious. It no longer works only on health damage. I don't know why they made that change, don't ask me. But it's a bad, yeah. They made that change because they hate us. It's kind of true, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's more reason we're not playing Dark Tide. Well, play it, that and player uh, base peak already dropped mm -hmm. 6k after the first day, so I'm sad about it. Yep. You can hear, you can hear the wounding in your voice. I know, right? That Baltan was sent to Boomtown. How good for him. Okay, I'm gonna keep going in this general direction. And let me also express, ladies and gents, do you know which planet I hate the most? It's actually not Hellmire. It's this piece of shit planet. 4 e Prime, dear god. Who invented this planet? Let's put a mountain in the in the literal middle of the map just because, you know what? We hate freedom. That's why we have a mountain right there. A mountain of anti-freedom goodness. Okay, this, this, this crate also sucks. Where's the bug breach? Coming back. BBS, is the bug breach on you? Alright, yeah, I was muted. Yes, it's on me. I can't yeah, believe I keep you, muting myself. You, yeah, you need to run toward us, dude. You're separated. We're, we're not going that way. We're going to this thing first. So, book it, book it. We'll deal with it when it comes to us. Because, yeah, you cannot... Oh, in the crate. <laughs> thou cannot separate it's from us. In <laughs> Sorry? The, the octro in the crate. It's telling you it's telling you to bring the arc armor. Let the intrusive thoughts win. Yes, that's about right. I didn't bring it, that's my bad. That's okay. Is that a shrieker nest, brother? Oh shit. Okay, um I'll clean up these nerds. McCain can establish the communication uplink. Wait for BBS and Nightshade. We'll kill whatever's coming up against them and then we'll clear the shrieker nests. I gotta make sure Nightshade's not behind me when I'm shooting this guy. Alright, come on, come on, Charger. Get down from there, you're not meant to be up there, Charger. Bad kitty. Okay. Legionnaire, you are on the way. Keep going, keep going. Those are for your targets, Nightshade. I'll clear this. Working on it. Reloading. Take your time. You might have a little one near you, but I'm just gonna very quickly delete this bug hole. And then I'll come and assist you. Okay. 
Okay, Thanks, killed the congratulations. Entire oh the crap! We got killed by a hunter, sorry, my stim didn't go off. Uh, throw me nearby. I'll grab my stuff, I lost the samples. We must get them back. Thank you! <laughs> now then, vengeance! Oh no 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 no! Oh, damn it. Just where I came down. Sorry. Let me grab my stuff and I'll take care of that bug breach. Okay, Bile Titan. What up, homie? What up? Let me just drop a 500 there. Arrgh. He's stuck. Oh, not anymore. Oh, listen, okay, I got a still stuck. Nope, I got a second one for his pal. I should have done some damage. Jesus, come on. Oh, thank you, Baltine, for killing your friend. But, actually, I think it was your attack that killed it. Oh. Okay, don't oh, know where that one came from. Yep, sorry, and then guys. when I was looking. Temporarily separated. I'll join you guys as soon as I get rid of this stupid horde on me. You have my pot of cheese. I'll be right there. I should run backwards, please. Come at me and not my pals. That's the way, that's the way. Yeah, I know. Being interrupted mid stim really sucks, but it is part of the game mechanic. We have to kind of accept the pain. Oh, and there's. I got the charger. Spewers, okay. You said to zap you somewhere? No, that's not what I said. Oh. Arcane and his intrusive thoughts. Okay, there we go. Almost done. Just that last one. Nice job, Nightshade. Okay. Uh, Titan, uh, can I call a supply? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Please, please. By all means. Absolutely not. Oh, okay. Well, since Arcane says so, I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go bully this Baltine quickly. He's dead. He has been bullied. All right, now we must journey toward the main objective. Yes, Charger. Hello. You met my savior, the Arc Thor. Goodbye. Going back to where we came. Yep. We have to. Yep. Shh. This mountain range we cannot pass through. Go where Arcane is. Follow the arcane tower. He will show us the yes. way. Candy Mountain. <laughs> if pyromancer is for fire, then what do you call electricity? Um, electromancer. Yeah. Or it could be like, I mean, electromancer, arcmancer. But it should be Electromancer usually. Or you can just call them Lightning Lords. Through the bushes. The poems aren't very effective against Bile Titans, are they? What? Sorry? Napalms aren't very effective no, against No, the titans, reason you bring the napalm is to stop the mini hordes from the bug breach. That's why, we, like, the heavy guys will throw down the napalm. Arctos will kill anything that survives it. Then the quasar, then the heavy guys just shoot out the bile titans. And of course, if things get hairy, we have 500 kilograms of awesomeness. We're ready to go at it. Just cleared this base. We did. Um, of course there will be more. Come on. You're not supposed to clear the base in the first place. They will spawn. This is their home. Or well, so they think. Until we liberate it. Let's give them some more democracy. Oh, that one called in a bug breach. Little singer. Okay, get me some napalm on that hole. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> <You> guy? <laughs> yeah. 
I lost the fight. <laughs> Burn those holes! Yes! Yes! Now that's what I like to see. Oh! Hello, robot. I heard you got a bunch of spears coming in from the back, but I got them. Good job. Damn it, we have to back up. Nightshade, back up, buddy. No. Come back in. Oh, you're here, alright. Okay, that's done. Oh, they're just standing there because of the tremors. Oh, they've been hypnotized. I can safely say that was probably not me. Titan coming in from the back. Ah, good. Let me grab these here samples. Stealing the samples of my teammates, of course. Hey, Bile Titan, would you mind? Thank you! Engaging terminal. No, 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 no. Video guide on map mechanics. Uh. If people need it, I suppose. I think, isn't this something more. Because there's some things that, like, a video guide may help, but not every map is the same, so it's it, it's difficult to get it properly um, as, so, as, a, as a lesson to be taught. I think it'll be easier if people watch the streams and learn how we handle things. Although, yes, of course, there are radars, but um, there's no specific way of finding them. You just have to keep going around the map, and if you get lucky, you find them. There's no specific method of determining, oh, here's a radar, here's a secondary objective. No. Rather... Sometimes we don't even find the radar. Like here, there's been no radar. So you just kind of have to, you just kind of have to go between objectives. And the ideal thing on any map is to just say, okay, so I have to go from point A to B. What is a long point A to B? You know, that's what you usually have to ask yourself. And then what we do is that we say, okay, so if I'm journeying, like let's say from here to this objective, right, we'll keep an eye out. We'll look around the map constantly, and we'll say any points of interest. Anything that we see, hey, spore spear, things like that. You know, it's it's more like, it's more like you gotta visually see it because it's not like the map will tell you. And although the radar station's good, you don't want to spend your whole time searching the map for the radar station because patrols are gonna keep spawning. You know. Hey robot. Yeah. Yes. Did you just did you just see those civvies climb over that bile titan corpse and get into the uh, evacuation center like it was nothing? Like, why are these ones so smart and the other ones were so dumb? I don't know, why is it that we get thrown when we touch corpses? Look at them. Look at these guys. Right. Well, they're not really climbing. They don't even have an animation for climbing. They're just walking over it and disrespecting its corpse. Damn. Damn, calm down, civvies. <laughs> yeah, when we try to climb it, we fly off the map. <laughs> yes. Because, you know, we're just too cool. Physics, how does it work? That's because Helldivers can't obey any rules or laws, including the laws of physics. There's a bug breach on this side. The bug. Moving in. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Thank you for the 500. If anyone's got napalm, I would very much appreciate the fire. Oh, you're Locked standing a little down. close, man. Nah, nah, nah. What do you mean, of course? That's not close at all. I am out of napalm grenade. Shite. Okay, I'm gonna help with this. I'm gonna keep pressing these buttons. Yep, please do. I'll deal with the bug breach. Just send me fire. Lots of fire. <laughs> See, I enjoy fire at a distance. Fire at a distance is very nice. Fire in your face? Not so nice. 
we need one more button to activate. Okay, do it. Artillery. Perfect timing. There's a Kyle Titan. Yes, kill the Kyle Titan. Yep, it's dead. Alright, this should be good. Okay, good. Ah, supplies. My nemesis. Okay. Everyone get supplies? Yep, I got mine. I am think I it's time to get out. Well. Alright. Over the hills and far away. Oh. Yeah, you can also do it that way. You can open the map and, and spam your button to check, but uh, that generally is not an effective solution. We usually only do it when we know that there's like a stalker nest nearby or something like that. We try and find it that way. But again, this is, this is stuff that people will see on streams and see me doing. So hopefully it helps to teach them that way. Because a video guide, like covering every single situation might be pretty difficult to do. And also may not help anybody, you know. So I'd rather they learn from streams. Some things I always tell people is much better to learn from the live streams where you can interact, ask questions. See it in action. Yep. Exactly. Okay, let's go through this passage. It's more like it, as you sort of make up the plan as you go along anyway. Oh yeah, you have to be able to be reactionary because nothing's going to go according to plan. <laughs> That is very true. For example, Randall's wandering off by themselves, getting themselves killed, and then eating my Arc Thor to the face multiple BPS times. Things. You will never be as bad as a Rando. Like, I mess around with my friends a lot, but <laughs> have you ever seen these Randos? My god. Group on the left. Yep. Uh, is it aggro on us? Okay, it is, it is. Yep. Yeah. Start killing, start killing. Back up, back up. Back up! No, I'm walking toward it. 500 kilogram bombs, my friends. They'll never hurt me. The mountain blocked it. <laughs> well, that's what? the thing. All right, get back this way. Get back this way. I need you guys to move closer to the extraction. We'll take the high ground and we'll start shooting there. Arcto is up on high ground. Rubber boots in motion. Let me just go to extraction because we'll have the high ground. Good old. All right, backing up, backing up. Why am I so cool? Sorry. Ow. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, getting yeeted in the wrong direction. Mm. Okay, okay. Those of you heading back, head far, far back. Don't turn around and shoot. Head far, far back, and then just fire your quasars. Don't worry too much about the eruptor, because the eruptor we are downhill, so this is gonna be pretty bad. Um, if we cannot take the high ground, we have to go to extraction and take the high ground there. So this is another reactionary situation. See, fighting, fighting a downhill battle, very, very rough. To not be able to pick off and kill most targets. Eagles. So also for anyone that doesn't know, that's why I suggested firing, uh, fighting from up the hill. Because if you stand and fight over there, you stand more of a chance. And downhill, shit does not go well. Because the terrain may block that might be a little close. Ah, that's fine. I'm fine. I'll never die. Much. There you go. Um, what? That's okay. a charger. It decided to adjust you. There we go. Oh, oh god. My camera's in Big the horde. atmosphere. Big horde. Big horde. Oh, okay. Change guns. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Oh, 
One more grenade. This is all I can do. Let the fire so cleanse the soul. There's a what behind me? Supply. Ah. Hey. And there's a ball time behind us. Oh, it's it's going away. Okay. It's not it's not aggro yet. Ah, yes, the high. Oh, no, it is. It is. Zaring. Damn it. Come here, ball time. Hey there, Bali boy. Oh, oh, it's dead. Well, oh, those five hunts might kill us. Such a love screen, such a love screen. This is all that they have. This is the worst they can bring. Probably. Look out, look out. Ship coming down, ship coming down. Nice. You know what's coming down? My 500 kilogram bomb. Not on the ship, obviously. Shall we? Which armor is this? We're using the arc armor. Melwin. What do I feel about the arc blitzer? I do not like it. It's an okay weapon in the hands of some experts like Arcane. It can do a lot. But for me, it just doesn't gel. It's I cannot use it. Weapon. He likes it, but I'm just like, nah, 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 nah. So what I was using this round... The uh, the exploding sniper rifle. You would think that it's terrible against bug swarms, but that AOE damage was wiping out waves of the small ones in one shot. It was great. Mhm. Mm that was good. Now we're gonna do one last mission just for fun, just for the giggles, just for the lols. Giggle. Yes. Gigglypuff. Damn. This armor will make sure to bring arc armor. Yes, of course. That way we can shoot you with impunity. And we shall enjoy oh, no, our uh, time. Star 5W, that, that was a rail cannon shot that I <laughs> threw out at the last second. That yeah. was by the uh, Biotitan Ragdoll at the end. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. Lol, I love how they were doing the boxing thing <laughs> in their little character profile. That's cute. All right. The freedom of the galaxy remains in jeopardy. Let us hmm. join the fight. Intrusive thoughts. Should we go to Hellmire for our last mission? Oh, God. What do you think, fam? I'll what? leave the decision up to you. Sure. Okay, our the final mission play. shall be a hell dive on Hellmire. True hell diving. Now, on a scale of one to, I regret this decision immensely. I regret it immensely. Uh, okay. A defense. It's not a defense, is it? It's a normal. Not that one. Initiating right. FTL jump to okay. the Hellmeyer system. Call in time is increased by 50%. Please be wary. This will be a slower call in time. Keep your hands and feet in the vehicle at all times as well. FTL jump successful. Right. Let's Hellpop go. Prime. Mission coordinates locked. Time to die. Now, here's what we're going to do. We are going to safely drop over there. I know. Boo. I expected the booze, but it is what it is, okay? Listen, it's Hellmire. You really want to drop in a fire right now? I don't think so. You love fire. I do, but not on me. <laughs> I like the fire on the bugs. They need to be a fire with this armor, I reckon. They really should. Well, they said they're going to um, adjust some of the planetary effects, fire, mm -hmm. things like that. So the devs are looking into it. They do understand that it's probably not fun for us to burn to death instantaneously. Launch 
Oh yes, the eruptor do get me erupting. It is everyone's favorite weapon, but I cannot use it with the arc thrower loadout. I think it's better to use it with the um, breaker incendiary. That way, in case something gets in your face, you burn it. I do. I do find there's times where I have a grenade pistol and the eruptor, and something gets close, and uh, <laughs> if I <laughs> you basically have no <laughs> options. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully, uh, That's when you start cannon, hitting with the bar of your uh, rifle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to our right, there's a spot here that probably I shouldn't have dropped into, but oh well. Such is life. Sometimes life is unpredictable. Bug breach, damn it. I could have predicted that. Okay. <clears throat> Did that rail cannon just hit a tiny leaper for no reason? Damn. Yes. Damn. Because okay. Because the biotech died. Well, the hunt was really dead. Oh, nice. Wow. Nice shit. <laughs> What'd you do to him? It was a rover. Uh, oh, okay. People deleted me like so fast for no reason. I, I wasn't. You look like yeah, a terminate. That's know. all. You know? Saw Arcane is like, hmm, register target as terminated. Must terminate immediately. Terminating. Building. <laughs> Where? There it is. Now, if Nightshade has Arc Armor, you can have your shocking revenge. Oh, it's dead already. Oh my god, there are two rovers. Thank god for my shield. Welcome to Laser Hill. Laser ah, Tag. My favorite. Okay, there's a Vile Titan. Would you guys kindly? Oh, no, 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 no. Please do not. Mr. Titan of Viles. Thank you. Alright, we're going toward the facility, my favorite place. Let's go erupt all over this facility, shall we? There is something here. Minor point of interest. What is this minor point of interest? Oh, down ship. Found samples for you guys. Rare sample Sweet. acquired. Uh, there will be more samples here. I'll pick them up. Samples coming at you. Heavy Yep, 500 it. Wow. Dropping a pin. A random. Far. Right, kill it. Enemy There's elite. a Valentine here. We can ignore it. I'm going toward this question mark. Oh. Slowing him down, slowing him down. Okay, gotta take care of everything else that's coming our way. You can even arc a leaper in midair, by the way, just so you know. Oh, there's a bot behind us. Yeah, let's pray it doesn't attack us. Already attack. Really? Attack on Bile Titan? Damn. Such a dramatic fall. Okay, now back to that location Tagging over there. Location. <clears throat> the rover is an excellent choice, believe me. If I didn't rely on my shield so much for these guys, I'd use it with the arc door. Oh, come on, really? See, that's why I have to bring a shield. Cause you got your teammates erupting all over you, damn. There's a buffalo. Who dead used the crossbow? You know it wasn't me. Yes, put the fire on the thing. Throwing grenade. Yes, that hunter did a nice little spin toward me. I'll enjoy it. Now burn, you heretics! Burn. Oh, about Titan, the time has come. Um, 
Come to me. Yes. Oh my God. Goodbye. Freedom never sleeps. Did Arcane get arced? Got, no. Uh, something. I got. I got double teamed. Oh, there's three chargers. Yep. Three chargers. Yeah, Four. three chargers oh, over there. Three. Gang bang you. Oh, that's. Then that's why. That's a lot of charger meat. Shocking me, I'm trying to shoot this quasar into the fucking thing. Well listen, I you should have ever... known. You should have known better. You don't have to try and kill me, BBS. Jeez. <laughs> That's not me. Oh, that wasn't you? It was Arcane. <gasps> Betrayal. Yep. Blamed me. <clears throat> yep. And I'm not sorry for it. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I'll promise to extra blame Arcane for everything. Everything that goes wrong in the world is now Arcane's fault, officially. Nightshade! Uh, I think that was a... I think that was a fire tornado, not Nightshade. No, nope. um, I shot him. Oh, thank you for admitting it. Oh, no, I'll, I'll definitely uh, admit it. No worries. Dang it, brother. Careful. Careful. Fire. Did I get my samples? Uh, I did not. Oh, someone did. I think maybe I did. Okay. Yeah, we seem to have the samples. Somebody definitely took my samples, which is good. Okay, we keep heading. There's a question mark here, but it's in the path of fire. Oh, well, no. Oh, it's just a flamethrower. No, no, go away. You are not permitted on this planet. Someone say fire. No, 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 no. Killing a Baltine with a 500 kilogram is an art form indeed. I already dropped the Helldiver's rep, but music video, I got no money for that. Somebody else will have to design the music video, dude. <laughs> But the rap is already on my channel. Please enjoy. I wanted to make an automaton diss track, but uh, nah, I'll save it for bugs. You're on me. Oh, I'm sorry. We are separated by fire, my friend. We uh, yeah. we are unable to assist temporarily. There's a bug breach here, though, so you have something to join in when uh, when you're done. Oh, stalker, stalker. Mm, that is not pleasant. Ow, yeah. ow, ow. Going to her nightshade. <laughs> oh my, God. my frame rates. Woo! Yeah, burning in a fire tornado. Yeah, my frames are gone. <laughs> gone. Yeah, I know. I'm surrounded by so much fire and bugs. The particle effects, brother. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. No fire tornado, you will not claim me. You're not. <laughs> not this time. You're not. <laughs> Arcane brother. Oh, this planet was a mistake. We should have never left Fory Prime. But oh well. I'm alive. I'm awake. I'm alive. Now I know what I believe inside. <laughs> run, skillet no. boy, run. Getting roasted like he on a skillet. Yeah. <laughs> Hell. I thought you were yelling for Phil for a second. I was like, Phil's not here. He can't save you. He can't save you from this. <laughs> okay, so while you deal with the fire, I'm gonna go to the objective. Cause screw you guys. Oh my gosh. Look, I was trying to get there. Thank you. I thought the captain's place did the only ship. What is this? Uh, yeah, but I ain't on my ship. Oh, crap. I forgot we got stalkers too. Shit. Ah, well, never mind. You know what? They, they, they're they probably not going to get through oh the fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? Oh, it's, wait, wait, why am I stunned right now? It wasn't me. I'm firing at these charges and you're nowhere near me. 
Well, now you might get stunned. Ah, good job. That was a nice one. Give me stims. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna touch this first. Ah, damn it. Yeah, no. you're right. Incoming stalkers. Shit, 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 shit. Running, running, running with both legs. Coming from the uh, northwest. Yep. Northwest. So. On New York, in. Ah, found it, really? found it. There. Really? There, there. Helping. I just got shot in the back. Thank God it wasn't me this time. Just erupting. Erupting all over you. Thank Ooh, you. kinky. Now listen, listen, listen. There's a lot of stalkers. This way, this way, this way. Kill them, kill them. Before they give me more tongue. I don't want the tongue. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh God. What is this? What is this? Enemy tactical See, crap. I think this is it, though. This is the stalker nest. Like yes, yes, yes. I've already marked it. I'm here. I'm throwing things at it. Stalker layer down. Arcane and his struggles. <laughs> oh my god. Struggle. I can't. Okay, I've just. I've accepted it. It's. It's death. <laughs> oh, there's a stalker on me. There might be another layer, buddy. Okay, first drop some napalm on that bug breach. It could be a remnant or another layer. Wow, that chameleonic, freaking nod chameleon spies over there. Okay, I'm gonna get on top of this big rock, this little tiny rock, because Obi Wan Kenobi said high ground helps. Yes, 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 we're reinforcing you. Calm down. <laughs> now, just a reminder. Just a reminder, huh? Nope, this, there, there might really be another one. Okay. Uh, there's another stalker right there. Definitely. Right. Oh, damn. No, 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 no. That no, no, charger, no. I. Couldn't, sorry. Yep, thank you. Oh. BBS. Frick all of Is that charger still alive? Probably. It. I mean, there's a lot of ways it could be still alive. Anyway. Dude, the charger died and the orbital hit a stalker. Okay, okay. Dropping a pin. Now deep. A hundred meters. The stalker layer is somewhere around here. I'm confident. Into assist. Let's try and regroup. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh! Got a kill by the charger. It's one second too slow. Okay, we gotta prioritize that stalker nest, wherever the hell it is. You. Oh, yep. Uh, northeast, northeast. Yeah, but do you have an actual location on it? Oh. A generalized direction. No. Oh, nice job finishing it, but... 
Yeah, I don't see I don't see it yet. So stick together. We'll try and find it. Okay, open it up, open it up, Nightshade's with you. Arcane, can you come toward us? If you can. Mm-hmm. We'll try and keep an eye on things. The stalker has to be somewhere. It's not in this direction. Is there a bug breach? Okay, wait. Here, there don't seem to be stalkers coming in this way, right? So we stay here, we kill. And a stalker will definitely show up from somewhere. We just need to know the direction it comes from. Find that direction? We find it. Fire tornadoes, fire weapons used on fire tornadoes and dispersed? That sounds like a lie. You must enjoy the noises, Mr. Steven. Yep, that's the old horde coming toward us. Delete them. Behind us. I don't see a stalker though, so tell you what, it could have just been lots of remnant to spawn. We'll continue heading south. If we okay. encounter no more trouble, we'll uh, carry on. Alright, follow me. I hear things to our right, but it's not alerted yet. It's not an assault. Okay, there is a patrol coming up ahead. <coughs> Please prepare. Unleash the zap zap. Good. I guess that brings a whole new meaning to the word headbang. Hello. Okay, this is it. Do you remember? Do you remember King Raven? I think a while back somebody said that if they shoot enough bullets at a tornado, it'll go away. And some people actually tried. And of course, they were American, as expected. I mean, if you fired an entire wall of lead the size of the tornado at the tornado, it would have to disperse. LOL! Are you very sure, BBS? It's, it's just spinning wind caused by a different temperature of a hot and cold tempest uh, combining an atmosphere. I mean, you would think it would disperse it at least, if not, I mean, it, maybe it'll reform, but it would get rid of it. An mm. entire wall of lead? Mm. Smell the American eye, you buddy. Stalker! Piss off! Stalker? Really? Yes! It's in the face with us. Aha, I see it, I see it. Okay, okay. Maybe the layer is here. Maybe the thing is here. The layer could be here. Stalker! And I'm fine. Wow. I'm gonna try and not kill you. While uh -huh. still effectively slowing down these targets. Take that. The charge is done. Okay, so. There's most definitely a layer somewhere. Dude, another freaking charger. Of course, there's a bug breach, buddy. Alright, I got another soccer. It's somewhere behind us. Behind us? Where? Yeah. Like where I died, like south southeast. Okay, that is quite the insane horde. I see it. <clears throat> Apologies, I'll call you in soon. Gotta survive first. But yeah, there's definitely a. Oh, oh. On you. Yep, thank you. Oh my god, Chargers, leave me alone. Heads up! Heads up! Okay. There! Found it! It's there. 
Well, hey, you know, if, uh, if you guys ever manage to shoot a wall of lead at a tornado and stop it, let me know. Oh my god, well, there's so many! I know, I know, I know, believe me, I know, I see them all. Oh my god! Heal! Heal! No. Sorry. No, 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 that, no, that they was hit me, me. That was me. No, y'all aren't doing enough damage to me. It's the stalker. No, I know, but I slowed you down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, okay, I'm moving. I'm moving. All right, where's my shit? Got four reinforcements remaining. Damn these stalkers! I hate them so much. Oh! Yep, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Just kill in whatever way you can. Oh, I found their lair. I found their lair. You're not killing my friends today. Not today. Ah. Okay, there are like three bug holes, just so you know. One. One bug hole is down. Clearly, others. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, There's no more. There's no more. All right, safety. Need to take care of this. How was that thing so ASAP. Oh, it is like that. Don't mind it too much. Oh you're okay. You're okay. We are now going to move toward the oil. Well, you know, if we figure out enough guns for the problem, I mean, it, it would potentially be possible. If. And if. always. Oh! Enough DACA. That is true. Not today. Okay. I got the terminal. Engaging terminal. Okay, transfer station, transfer station. This is locked. Therefore, it must be something like that. Last one is there. There we go. Open the gates! Oh boy. God, there's a fire one tornado there. right on two of the objectives. Of uh, course there is. Of course, right? Of course. Hello, Brute Commander. I do not like you. Careful of the fire tornadoes here. No, no, no. Shit. There's a bug breach now. The Brute Commander lost his head and still called it in. It is there. Please be wary. I've got this corridor blocked off, but I'm gonna need some serious uh, napalm on it. Oh! I didn't know there was a tornado behind me. Trying not to let any tornadoes get the better of me. For our last vacation. Not a good idea. The vacation. It's like choosing to vacation in a uh, uh, what? In an oven. Uh, I don't even, it's like choosing to vacation in Brazil. But Brazil is okay. <laughs> now please don't be countryist, all right? I guess I'm gonna call in new stuff because there's no way I'm getting my old stuff back. What a shame. Congrats on activating the pumps. One last thing to go. If any of my viewers are Brazilian, I'll give you BVS's address so you can go beat him up. Hey, he's the one that hates the country, okay? I love all countries equally. BVS, on the other hand. Just a meme. 
It's a meme to no, rag no, on no, Brazil. No, 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 no. You are, you are American. You can only rag on your own country. Lol. Yeah, in okay. future just rag on Ohio or something. Oh my god. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. Alabama. Okay, whoever did that, the hell. <laughs> you are banned from doing that again. <laughs> Almost heaven. West Virginia. Okay, whoever's from Brazil beat up BVS extra. <laughs> That's a big old nest. Oh, that all? Damn. Okay. Let's get this party started. I'm on fire, I'm dead. Not today, pal. Not today. Nope, I'm running. I'm running, sorry. Even though I'm not dying here. I ain't dying here. Okay, cool. I'm glad you didn't. Now I test up in the ground. Test. Damn charge of Moving, 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 moving. Nest cleared. Nest cleared. Nesty! Fire in the hole! Oh dear. Ah, Stop two times. Of course. I'll be there as soon as this charger disappears. <laughs> I'll take your time. I'm uh not exactly not exactly holding on to hope here. Ow! Yeah, I eat it. Why there's so many bug breaches everywhere? Jesus. I think we should beeline to main objective and just try and get it as best as we can. That's because there's a freaking downhill section here and Arcane ran all the way here. Why? I was avoiding all the bugs. I had no Kill him! Stems. Kill him! Vision takes priority, Arcane. Good job. This guy, weak. She called in a resupply! I'm trying. Oh, oh my no. god! <laughs> Why do you betray me, laser? Why do you keep relying on that damn thing? Oh. You, you know it doesn't work for bugs. One of y'all get down here and squish the damn thing, please. And thank you. It's there. Okay, it's dead at least. Phew! I see that there, Bow Titan. It's not on us yet. So we're gonna move. When it does come on us, okay. It's dead. Good. Charger. Slowing it down. Good. <laughs> I leave Ohio out of this? Nah, Noah. No. I'm sorry, but Ohio's, sorry. Ohio's, Ohio's in it. Ohio's in it now. Yeah, to be honest, I wouldn't care what people talk about my country either, but uh, quite frankly, here's the thing. YouTube is sensitive, so I can only allow the Americans to make fun of America. Unfortunately, give me a second. Give me a second. Gotta get supplies and lights. Too many lights. Shoot them out. Okay, just one. A. It's over there. You know where it is, right? You don't know where it is. It's over that way. Yes. <laughs> it's always here. Anyway, it's all good. I got it. 
Why am I hearing things? Kill him. Hunter patrol. Okay, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Hunter patrol must be killed. I have the high ground. Sorry, best I can do for you. I slowed him down a little bit. One. Another. We got a bug breach though. Mm, this is painful. We gotta we gotta get to a defensible area. I'm moving back. Find the damn lights. I'm trying to move to a location I can defend. Here. Six bow right. Oh my god! It just teleported me! Yep. Rubber banding, buddy. So my teleportation. Well, thank you for your napalm at least. Killed. 40 kills, very good. Told you, fire is glorious, isn't it? When you don't have the DOT bug, mm, it is the way. Say hello to democracy. Oh my god, no. Come on. See, ladies and gents, Arcane does not jam with fire. Fire planet, I mean. There's a fire planet. He eats the fire food. Reloading. Okay. 37 seconds. We'll call in Nightshade and then we'll get the Arcane man back. <laughs> Keep Ohio out of it? No, sorry. Ohio is in it now. It's too late, buddy. It's too late. Keep Ohio's name out your fucking mouth. Lol, BBS. <laughs> Didn't know you were married uh, to Ohio. Uh, robot? Yeah, releasing the fuel. I know. What do you think that is? A horde, right? So, we start heading to the extraction. Oh, you called it. Okay. Call it Nightshade, buddy. I am down. I am downhill. This is bad. You like to the freedom? Call it Shade of Night. Alright, we are going straight to extraction. Nightshade, feel free to rob somebody's stuff if you have to. Support player right here. Good, very efficient. Uh, I, I was wondering if we would make it through this one. Of course we will. I mean, Arcane's dead, but you know. We, we'll clone him in another minute. What about me? You're dead. You have died in a day. Hey, could one of you stop by here just a second? I've got this one. Thank you. <laughs> It's got literally three weapons inside it. Okay, we don't need to care. Time to get out. To be honest, it was the stalkers. The stalkers were badly placed around key areas. Okay, there's a bug breach. We're gonna have to circle past it and then. Yeah, I'll throw some fire, throw some napalm oh. around it. Yeah, I'm almost there. I can start calling and extract. So try and move toward me if you can, and we'll try and kill whatever goes that way. Oh my Ooh. god, it stepped on me! What did? File Titan stepped on me and insta-killed me. Well, yes, that'll always be the case. Rough. It's Rail Cannon. I, rail cannon I didn't expect it to step in there. Unfortunate. Okay, Arcane, I'm gonna call you in my stuff immediately. I mean, technically, we've already succeeded the mission, you know? Yeah, 
just about getting home. Yep. But we all know that this planet, mm, on a scale of one, two, I never want to be here. Never. As a challenge, it's fine. But God, this planet is evil. Yes, come this way, insects. Oh! Stalker? No, no, no that's hunter. just a hunter. Please do not terrify me like that. Right. There is a patrol it's with a ball type here. Point. Come on! One last shot! That's it. It's oh dear. dead. Haha! -ha. Oh dear, I dropped the, dropped the 500. Oh, okay, don't worry, I got a shield. I will live. You will not live. Arcane didn't. <laughs> I will live, Arcane didn't. Damn, damn. Uh, Nightshade, you might want to be careful. That way lies danger. A lot of it. <laughs> This way lies less danger. Someone. You can call me in just before the extraction if you want, please. No. I'm gonna call you in immediately. Oh. Think I'm letting you off the hook? You're fighting. Think of it this way. Oh, you got I'm sorry. You got a positive chance now oh, to use your uh approved. to use your uh what you call it? Parkour. Can pick up on the sets. Luffy. Shit. Okay. Then there was one. Fire bones. I know. Lovely, isn't it? Valentine! Nope! Damn it. And then there was just BVS. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Good luck! Yep. So in like 20 seconds. You can do it! I believe in you! Yes, believe in him. Belief in him. You see where those glowing samples are? LOL! It worked on a hive guard instead! You almost there, King! You almost there! Not the fire. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh. oh! You should not have tried to climb up there. You should have gone around, buddy. Lol. You should know that they don't let you do that. Yeah, they should, Sam. I'm sure they'll fix it eventually. But not right now. Ah, transcendence. The only problem was that this is Hellmire. If it wasn't Hellmire, it would have been fine. Fire tornado's not very fun. And, you know, both stalker layers next to each other. True, true. But hey, fire tornadoes and and uh, the uh, stalker layers, oof, terrible. <laughs> all right. We went a little over time today, but thank you all very much for hanging out with us. The stream has ended and there's no... The Astanu system. Status. Defending against terminate. Invasion. Hell oh, hey. Support requested. Major order? Major order. Okay, wait. Let me quickly brief you. All right, so Major Order 1, the Automaton invasion fleet has been repelled. The bots committed much the of their reserves to the attack. Even the large-scale deployment mission. of factory striders cannot break the resolve of the Helldivers. The situation remains dire. The Automatons still illegally occupy vast swaths of our territory. With this victory, the Helldivers have won the opportunity to turn back the tide. What's the Major Order now? The Hell Divers battle for no major order yet, but there's Let's been a dispatch at least. Okay, Estanu is currently under attack. This will be the next defense mission. I suppose we can defend that until later, but we'll, I'll let you know if there's a major order. So for now, guys, congratulations. Now, in order to not keep my friends who are already over time, thank you very much. I'll be heading off. I'll see you guys this evening for more Slaughter Melanin. So please, do look forward to it. And I'll catch y'all in the next one, okay? Y'all have a good day. See you later.